data. That's just right. more for like me being watchful as we walk. Uh, well, actually, you got that. Um, I'll take a passive perception of uh, at least 15. I can't remember what the number. I think it's 15 is what you got. Yes, it is 15. Um, you here. Just, just, Chris, by the way, just, what? I need to interrupt you really quick. Didn't interrupt me. Sorry, Dad walked in the room for a second. I got double interrupted. I got interrupted as you, I was interrupting you. Um, no, I don't. I don't, I'm fine, thank you. All right, sorry. Um, do you have my updated passives and everything? Because uh, that's important. Just a second. What I have right now. I have you at 13 and 11. 13 perception and 11 inside. Is that correct? No. Then tell me the new numbers. My passive... Um, passive, it's, it's passive perception, passive with, um, okay. Hang on a second. Okay. Mine are both 15. My passive, uh, insight is 14 and my passive perception is 19. And this massive boost what? to perception is due to what? Due to the thing we talked about last week. The feet? Yeah, the feet. Okay. I have 14 perception, 16 insight. And Lazarus, are you 1311? Yeah, I'm still the same. Okay. Everyone went up from 13 perception to a lot higher. I wasn't did not well, go. Zane certainly did because he took a feat. How did he get nineteen perception? Look at the observer passive feet. perception. Oh, only passive. It is okay. not active. It literally it's gives you plus feet. five. It's only passive. His active check doesn't get that plus. That's five. kind of funny. Yeah. Um, okay. It'll so be hilarious. It's still only Lazarus. But Lazarus hears some very faint. Seems like a almost low growling noise. It's really hard to make out. But you do hear something. Does it sound like it's coming from over here, over here? Uh, you cannot tell that. <laughs> okay, well, Lazarus is just going to have his shield at the ready and walk per very carefully. He puts his shield up. I see him put his shield up, so I uh, equip my sword and my hand crossbow. Mace in one hand that's glowing for light, and shield in the other. And it's loaded. Now we get an entire area revealed, pretty much. See up to about there. If I see undead, I'll shoot it with my hand crossbow. You can see some skeletons. What Not you undead; see, they're just dead. Well, you see the there is this uh, this right here is a steep, very steep. Little escarpment there. Um, the distance is about 10 feet. So that's about 10 feet tall. That's, that's just your guess, but it's pretty accurate. There are carved stone stairs right here. I hope you can see those. There is a large, there, these down here are also uh, large tables. And there's a smaller table right here, which you have already seen. You see the skeletal remains of dozens of dead warriors. There's more than there looks like there. All, all down here. And you see some braziers that are that are not lit. 
Lazarus is going to step here and wait for the cleric to step up beside him. You hear the growling. The cleric steps up beside him. Lazarus, you hear the growling noise is coming from somewhere over this direction. Well, let's see what's behind us first before we move. Oh, yeah, you guys do can, you can see. Oh. Not terribly exciting, unfortunately. There's some nooks and crannies back there. Okay. Lazarus is good. I look next time, last time at nooks and crannies. So Blackjack comes over here and he investigates the nooks and crannies real quick to see if he sees any more niches like he saw in last place. Give me that. Some kind Slash of GR. This one's a perception. He's just looking. He's not like feeling around and putting stuff together. Well, oh, Lazarus is going to walk side by side down with Albert. I'm going to look under this table. I was getting ready to ask if that's strictly a table. Is here. As you step down the stairs, the light floods the area a bit more. Oh man, this could be exciting. Blackjack's got an idea. You're looking under the table right now, Blackjack. I'm not looking under the table. Well, no, you're I'm looking, looking the in table. the corner, actually. No, I'm not. No, he's, he's I got done. done. He's looking, Zang's looking under the oh, table. Zang's looking under the table. I, was, I, was, I thought you both were looking under the table. What are you no, doing? I just asked him to be sure that the table was just the table. I wasn't, oh, yeah, like, that's examining that's just, it. There was, it's just a table. There's nothing on it. Okay. So you're just kind of standing there looking at the table. I'm standing, seeing what he's, oh, the shit! floods the area. You see three rotting corpses shambling towards you all. I pointed out to Zang. I said, Zang, I'm dead! Behind you! Zuri really wants to know what's under this table well, first. Well, Lazarus. Yeah, he did look. Uh, you look under the table. There is some dust and uh, rocks. The feet of the table are down there. <laughs> Zing is uh, satisfied with the uh, nothingness now. under the table and decides to roll initiative for the thing that's uh, attacking. Yeah, I'm also rolling initiative. I'm oh, sorry, I forgot. GR plus there. There's my initiative. Ha ha! It doesn't mean anything because that was an S. That's weird though. It gave you a one somehow. I I don't know. Yeah, I, I just gave you the first number. I think that's all it is. Yeah, like, probably. Here you go. Yes. All right, I'm ready for action. Number. You got that number, and you got that. oh. You guys all got pretty good numbers there. <laughs> we were expecting undead this whole time, but this is like the first time we've seen well, a lot. You, you were told, I believe, that they were undead by someone. Okay, um, yeah. You see those th uh, things, and it is Blackjack's turn. I'm going to wait. I'm delaying my turn. Okay, you are delaying your turn. I'm hoping Zane and rolled decent. Then, then it's Albert's turn next. Wow. Uh, you rolled real well as well. Albert, up the stairs. Okay. What? what? Just so that we oh. have the high ground. I move up the stairs. Oh, and, and as, I, as you say that, I actually do say, um, to the side, Albert, to the side! He continues to the side. All right. All and right. then he prepares his symbol and casts Bless on the three of you. Oh, sweet. I didn't expect that. That's radiant damage. I think. This is a very nice thing to have. Oh, it gives us radiant damage too? No, it just lets you add a d4 to. Oh, okay. right. I thought it yeah, was your just attack a d4. rolls or saving throws. Attack okay. rolls or saving throws for one minute. Yes. Ten rounds. Let's do it. And that's the end of my turn. That was a heck of a turn. So whenever a target may a target makes an attack roll or a saving throw before the spell ends, you can roll a d4 and add it. Mm-hmm. Only okay, once. Okay, so then it is Lazarus's turn. 
No, no I think it's, it's a whole, just a whole duration. A whole duration yeah. Wow. Lazarus is going to... Uh, it's concentration up to one minute. Yeah, basically 10 rounds of plus 2.5 to your hit total. Hmm. Lazarus is going to take a step up and uh, assume a defensive position. So he's taking the dodge awesome. action. Right. And that's is also the bomb. And that's the end of my turn. Yeah. Yes. yes. I'm so excited. This combat seems fun already, man. This just this is just way better. This is way better. Is it because we're attacking from the high grounds? Mm, no, it's because like this game of D D is just way better. Way better. Sorry. Um there what? <laughs> I didn't have the monster stat block open. <laughs> Lemon yogurt shows, is really good. One of them lurches towards you. He's actually not as slow as you thought. Bang. He gets up to you. But he does not try to do anything to you. He doesn't have the movement. And it is now Zhang's turn. It's Zhang? Oh, okay. Actually, I tell him, wait, Zhang! Thing waits. Oh, it doesn't matter. Zhang is also delaying his turn now. Okay. You see Thing a second stares one at Blackjack. come out of the shadows. It, uh, as you're staring at Blackjack, Blackjack is motioning towards this table. Zing looks at the table. Zing looks at Blackjack. Zing will assist Blackjack, Blackjack, Blackjack when Blackjack takes up the stairs. <laughs> oh my gosh. This could go very badly, but it could also be awesome. This is going to go awesome. <laughs> this is going to go awesome. Okay, I don't want to take my turn now. Okay, you can take your turn now. And we say, I say, one, two, three, as uh, I pick up the table from the side. And I pick up the table from the Zang's other side. help. And we go running this way, and then we say the last... Duh! Well, he already had the dodge action going, so uh, he ducks. Yeah, he took the dodge action, so you you get to... Uh, <laughs> We're going to throw the table at all it. four of them down the stairs. Okay, I will need <laughs> from both of you a strength check. It's not oh, that boy. heavy of a table, is it? I need to see how far hard you're throwing... How hard are you oh, throwing it down the okay. stairs? Good thing okay. I've got the gauntlets of ogre strength, huh? <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't whether you could pick up the table. Okay, sure. okay. Um, so this is my roll. Yes, yes. It's just and a here strength I was check, just right? Just use the shove action. To just rip. it's just a strength check, right? Yeah, it's just yeah, it's just a straight strength check. <clears throat> well, there you go. Ooh, I can control the. Oh, I can't control it. And it's all downhill, too. We're trying to chuck it, chuck it as flatly as possible. You have minus one deer strength. I forgot about that. Yeah, I know. But that's why I was laughing. That it is, rolled so that good. That is plenty hard enough to <laughs> shoot down at them. And now they all have to make dexterity <laughs> saves. This is It's just a big piece of table coming at them. Yeah, but maybe with their, you know, <coughs> decks, they can dodge. They probably will not be able to dodge. <laughs> I don't know what you're going to make them do, but I'm excited to see whatever it is. I love being a character and coming up with this random ass stuff. Okay, this one, whoops, that's not the right button. This one manages to drop prone to avoid the table. 
The other three end up getting knocked down here with the table basically on top of them. They are also prone. But Can I roll for damage? Improvised weapon? Uh, well, that's a table. That's a improvised weapon, but that's big enough. That's a D12. That's big enough to be a D12. Oh, oh, oh okay. I was going to say improvised weapon and then together. Can I also roll for damage? You hit them. <clears throat> no, not both of you. There's one okay. roll. So I'm going to roll it out loud then. Well, it'd be three rolls, right? Because you rolled yes. different images. Well, well, I mean, yes, but only one of you is going to do the roll. Okay. Can 1D I roll it? Plus... Well, no, I mean, I, we're going to add ours together, so it'll be fair. We're both using both of our strengths. Yes, you add your strength bonuses together. What's your strength uh, bonus? Okay, my strength bonus Zing. is plus four. All right. So this is one, two, <laughs> three. All right, so take over there. That was. It's we kind of amusing how of them, so it is kind of amusing how blackjack strength actually makes it worse. <laughs> but yeah, well, oops. But it was so awesome. <clears throat> Great heave, Zang! Blackjack. They are currently uh, beneath the table, um, and they're all prone. <laughs> Zing nods. Um, quite Best surprised that that was as ever. effective as it was. <laughs> Zing. Uh, well, just so you know, Blackjack, you took your turn on your turn. So what? You took your turn right when your turn was going to be. Oh, okay. Well, so that's nothing. I mean, that that that's your turn. Okay. Uh, and it is Albert's turn now. So dumb, <laughs> but I love it. This one here is prone, right? Yeah, They're all prone. Does that give me advantage? Yes, yeah. it does. All right, then I swing my mace at him. Oh, shit. <laughs> the bright, shiny, holy mace. Oh, I forgot the bless. Oh, there's no extra damage for bless. Never mind. Yeah, it's just attack roll. You could have had a 1d4 to that, but no one did. Not, not to damage. Oh, wait, that's only to attack rolls? Yeah, it's and attack throws. rolls. And saving throws. Yeah, and you just did the dex save, so it's all good. Well, yeah, the dex save was theirs, not yours. Um, yeah. Let's see. Oh, yeah, you, you smashed him. Smash your mace down into him. It's almost like the table just hit him. <laughs> and is that it? I'll go ahead and shift back. I believe technically he could How do you do that? Technically it's he It's just can. my movement. I moved up and moved back. I have enough movement to do that, don't I? Yes, yeah. you do. Yeah, but, but you have to disengage or else he can... But he yeah. has disadvantage well, already. He has disadvantage, yes, but he can try. Okay. Oh, okay. If he's got disadvantage, then do what you want, man. He is reaching out with his hand to try and claw you as you move away. Not the claw! The claw! But you, but you back up quickly enough that he doesn't manage to catch you. All right, that's the end of my turn. The Lazarus. So I am going to try and grapple him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and that... I'm. Is that full action? No. Nope. That is that is an action. Yes. Oh, he's a battle master, though, isn't he? He might get to do that as part of an attack or something. He has to be that. He has to beat that with his athletics. acrobatics or athletics. So strength or dexterity. This guy's not trained in anything. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you never know.
Oh, you managed to uh, put him in some kind of hold. <laughs> well, is it, he having a shield more, and a sword out? It, it's more that I'm riding him down the stairs. Wait, actually, I need to check something. <laughs> I'm literally uh, Mike just, just... Mike just made a point. I'm, I don't, literally, I'm literally just it. riding him down the stairs. I don't, I don't know, you guys. This this combat is hilarious. Um, so, what do you have in your hands, Lazarus? A just a shield. Just a shield. <laughs> Actually, you I drop. can just, I can put the sword away as a free action. Well, yes, you can. I, so I put away the sword, and I'm just riding this guy down the stairs. Wait, no, I was asking because you have to have a free hand to grapple someone. He said he put the sword away. Except in the special case that we said crit. What? Yeah, no, that's still not... That's that's a grapple check... No, wait, what? <laughs> Confused. The impale the him. Yeah, the impale. that's not a grapple, though. That's a... Well... You're I have to have using it. your sword. That's different. Yeah, okay. Well, still, I'm riding him down the stairs. <laughs> So you've grappled him, and then you're going to try to move him down the stairs. Yeah, I'm just basically he is prone. Like he doesn't even get a save. It's just no, no. He goes, he goes with you down the stairs. Tonk. Um, he is not under the table. Does uh, he? <laughs> he takes some damage from you know. No. Rumble, rumble. You're just dragging him down the stairs. It's not really da- dragging so much as... You are not surfing him down the stairs. <laughs> that was the intent I was going for. Then you would have just jumped on him and he would have gone... Bleh. That was his grab check. He was jumping on him. Yeah, that, that's why I was... That's How what was I was that thinking. that a grapple check? It's the it's only balance way can... or something? I don't know. That's Make the sure only you can't way... push him off? Grappling is grabbing a creature or wrestling with it. He was, and then he let go at the end of the stairs. I think I agree with Arthur on this one. I think that was cool. But it's not what he said he was doing. He said he jumped on him. I like, I'm serious. That is, I, I was like, I jump on him. I ride him down the stairs. And then Mike said, what do you have in your hands? And then there was a long debate about that. Yeah. Oh, I was confused. I thought you were actually grappling him. Well, he said he grappled him, but I think it was just unclear at first. I mean, I could just shield bash twice, but that's not nearly as cool as riding someone down a flight of stairs. Either way... That wouldn't uh, be a strength check, then. I'd be a dex check to keep your balance riding down the stairs. It may also be a dex check. Well, if you want one so bad. I do. I do want one so bad. There you go. <laughs> you successfully ride him down the stairs. <laughs> and I Good action... slide, Lazarus. And I action surge. Pull out <laughs> my sword and then stab him. And remember, you get blessed. Yeah, plus one d four. All right. You stab. Ouch. <laughs> that thing is not looking too healthy. I mean, not, well, it didn't look healthy to begin with, but it's uh, now it's covered in blood. And um, I use my bonus action <laughs> to bash it away. <laughs> okay. Uh, so you're shoving him away from you. Yeah. He needs to beat that. Uh, he can't beat that. Man, I wish I had like a fireball or some. He, he, yeah. <laughs> I, I need like, a attack spell. He he needs to beat that. Uh, and uh, that's the end of my turn. You punt him out of the way. 
Let's see, then it's his turn. Lazarus just kind of gives you guys a thumbs up up there. <laughs> because that was back for you. Those best six seconds of our lives so far. He reaches out with his hands. I smack his hands away with my shield. I'd like to know if this is maybe something that, uh, if I were to attempt to deflect, I might be able to deflect it if it is going to hit. Just use it or don't. Like, no, I, I did not ask that very well. I to determine if, I, and then if it is, if I think it is going to hit, I'd like to determine if I would be able to stop it. You're like cutting in and out. Oh, sorry. I would like to determine if it's going to hit him, and if I think it is going to hit them, I would like to determine whether or not I can stop it. That's a very long question. It's the two questions that we talked about. That you said, yeah, you can do that. Well, what, what is your AC, Lazarus? 20, 1. Well, it's not hitting him. I mean, you know it's not hitting him. I know it's okay. He's a crazy undead thing. He's clawing at him, but he's holding his shield out, blocking the claws. What does he look like? Oh, well, it looks kind of like a zombie, but he has a bit more flesh. He's drooling everywhere. Religion to check to determine if it's a ghoul? Make, make your religion check. Okay. That's a knowledge um, check. You can make one of the, a knowledge check on a monster for free. For it's a free, it's yeah. nothing. This is my religion check. That I'll be right back. Can you show up on my cast? Okay. He does look he like a zombie. They're ghouls, Black Jack says. Why does he look now? The fuck's a ghoul? Why is it his turn? Yes. Um, then if he's leaving on a turn, I'm going to get uh, some more milk. I'll be right back. Lazarus has no concept of the difference between zombies and... Uh, ghouls are like zombies, but they want to eat you. Well, so do zombies. You see, zombies just want brains. The ghouls want all of you. So they're, like, more eco-friendly? They are like zombies, but worse. How about that? Go you don't want they're, ghouls to bite you they're, or They're faster. Grab you. you don't want them to grab you. You don't want them to bite you. You don't want them to do anything, have anything to do with them. You want to do radiant damage because they're undead. <clears throat> well, Ross is trying to find his cat. So. Do I know about ghouls and them biting you and uh, you know that ghoul that bad things happen when ghouls successfully attack you, but you aren't sure exactly what happens. You just know it's bad. So I don't know it's necessarily because of them biting the flesh. Or do yes, I know that? you just know that if they're getting at you, you know people who get attacked by ghouls, bad, horrible things happen to. Don't get attacked by them, Blackjack said. I wasn't planning on it, but okay. Well, no shit. I'm going to say don't let them bite you anyway. They're foaming at the mouth. So I'll say don't let them bite you. Not because I'm knowledgeable, but because they're foaming at the mouth, probably, I'm guessing, yeah. look like they have sharp teeth. Oh, yes. They, yeah, they do look like they have sharp teeth. They also have very sharp hands. They don't end in fingernails. They end in claws. Aren't claws fingernails? In a manner of speaking, <laughs> I know. I'm just, I'm just kidding. Uh, in some instances, they're actually part of the skeletal structure, whereas a fingernail is not. All right, sorry, huh. I'm back. You guys still here? It's yep. It's your turn. <laughs> your turn. All right, my apologies. I had to go grab something. Blackjack said, "Don't let them touch you." Yeah, I said, don't let them bite you. That's what Blackjack said. Okay, uh, Zing's gonna do something potentially stupid, but he, I, this is gonna happen.
Um, sp- Zing's gonna spend a key point, <laughs> and uh, he's gonna kind of rear back a little bit, and then he's gonna run forward, jump off this first stair, and he's gonna try to jump right on top of that table, like as hard as possible, with a double jump distance up Crunch. and then back down. And as high as high as you can. As high as so he you're can. So you like stomping down on the table. Yes. He's pulled the Mario. That is a great. That's great. So you're stomping down on the table. Yes. Yeah, applying the force. Okay. Give Remember, me. A, give me a strength check. Wait a minute. How hard do you stomp on that table? So, I have a question. Yeah. That it may apply. So, and I don't know because I don't feel like I've got the resolution on what your opinion is on the uh, how. Applied the land. But, like, if he jumps up 50 feet and he lands on him and he's able to withstand the 50 feet of of falling because he, he's controlled jump. So, I don't – like I said, I don't remember what your ruling or your opinion was. Well, then he, he has the slow fall thing, so he knows how far he can jump without taking – with by and ignore the damage. Mm-hmm. Oh, because I was just thinking that, like, that jump would apply the damage to him. No, yeah, I know it's not infinite. I was just thinking about – never mind. Don't worry about it. Forget about it. If he has I'll training in acrobatics, he can reduce it by another 10 feet. No, yeah. I'll ask later, though. It's just because he, uh, he's he got the boots of jumping, right? Or does the no. belt have jumping? I have them because they let me uh, Oh, master. okay. Okay, I got you. But I do know with 19 strength, he can certainly jump that far. He can jump 19 feet. <laughs> just remember... Well, actually, he can jump 38, but just remember, hit what? the A button... Before you land, so you can do a double jump. I am trying to hit the A button. Is before it double I land. your strength score? Uh, he, I think he used the key point. Yes, I did use a key point, oh, so no. I double, I doubled my jump distance. Oh, okay, okay. And if he's jumping really high, does he not also deal the fall damage to them? Uh, maybe I already was thinking about that. Oh, I don't know. I have no idea. Sorry, I wasn't like questioning your d- decision preemptively. I was asking how hard he was stomping down. Sounded like he was stomping down pretty hard. Yeah, yeah, he is. Stomping <laughs> down. And I'm going to roll the damage on that one. Let's see, and you get. Wait, how high did you jump? As well, high as I possibly top. could. Yeah, awesome. how high is that? Uh, um, his strength score take is, 10 extra damage. is uh, plus 4, so that's an extra 14 feet up in the air. So he felt he has a plus 4, 3 plus your strength score, or strength modifier. That's 7 times 2. 14. Yeah, that doesn't. No, no, it doubles your jump distance. It doesn't double your yes. jump height. No, we've already been over this. <laughs> distance is height as well. Yeah, for a height, it is. For a high jump. He's doing both. You get to do both. They're, no, you don't. They're separate things. What? No, they're not. They're if you're doing one, you can do the other. Yeah. Are you I jumping think... for distance or are you jumping for height? You can I'm jumping both. for both. I'm jumping with the intention of going as arch. high as I can. Yeah. I'm trying to basically go in an arch up and then back down. It's two vectors. It's two vectors. Yes, it is two vectors. But what I'm saying is you have 100. You can't put 100 both directions. You can put 50-50. Exactly. It looks like he only has to jump 10 feet in distance, or maybe 15 feet in distance. It's actually 10 feet down. Because there there is specifically a long jump and a high jump. Which are you doing? A long jump or a high jump? Uh, Probably a high jump in this case. Because he has the distance to reach there. Yeah. Which which is just a normal jump. It's an arch. (laughs) I'm I'm a... That's a decent question. If he's jumping like 
100 it's, feet in the air or whatever. It's not He's 100 not... feet in the air. The ceiling's like 40 feet above you guys right now, so you're, you're fine. Yeah, that's okay, nice. well, he jumped 14 feet in the air from his 10-foot perch, so he's landing with 24 feet of force. Yeah, but I think... 25. Is, is he able to naturally jump up 25? Uh, he gets three plus his strength modifier if he's moved at least ten feet immediately before the jump. Which he did. Which he did. No, so. I guess what I'm saying is he's jumping, so they're ten feet below him when he makes the jump. So unless he can naturally withstand whatever... He's going to take 1d6 falling damage, if that. Yeah, is. okay, okay. Uh, he will be... He said he was jumping 14 feet, so he will be falling 24 feet... And he has to neutralize twenty four feet worth of damage. Wait, what? I think he would only. I think he would only take the ten feet of damage. Oh wait, no, it's only every ten feet that you take damage. Yeah, so it's two. Yeah. It's two. Two d six is. What yeah, so he just, he just. But he can naturally jump check. the other, and he can also naturally jump the other high. So if you can well, push yourself that high in the air against a constant acceleration downwards, then you can. That's where the safely key point, land. Though. What? That's with the key point, though. Yeah, but he's still using the key point to land. It's, it's all one action. It's part of the action. Not... But he can negate it anyways, because he has slow fall 10, and oh. he can make an acrobatics check. Well, if he's slow falling, then is he dealing less damage? How many damage... Oh, sorry. No, I mean... How, how, how far <laughs> am I falling? Slow fall for monks is not slow fall the spell. You, you t- you're you're falling 24 feet, but you remove 10 feet from that, and then you can make an acrobatics check to land the other 10 feet without getting hurt. But well, he gets how to reduce far any am I falling? falling damage he takes by five times his monk level. Oh shit! It's five times his monk level. Yes. yes. Oh shit! He doesn't even have to make a check. He's, exactly. He doesn't. That's what I was trying to say, but people kept in- interrupting me. I was trying to say it too. He doesn't have to make any checks because he gets to negate twenty damage automatically, and he can't take twenty damage from a twenty-four foot fall. He can only take up to twelve. Goomba stomp. I do the thing. I have another question. The reason why I asked is because I needed to know. The reason why I asked how high he was jumping is because I needed to know how many d six to roll. So would you roll? Would you do like two d six? Then divide it by three, and that they each take a third of that. Then because it's on the table. I have a thing that I'm doing. Okay, I'm just curious because I I don't know mechanics fascinate me, and I'm like I think I know how I would do it. Well, not to say that's better or worse. You're not potato or the DM. Well, yeah, that's why I said not to say it's better or worse. I'm I've got a curious. cat. <laughs> it's it's sitting right next to me. They all make squelching noises as you land on them. They are still moving, though. They're all still moving. You are now standing on top of the table. I am standing on top of the table? Uh, On top of all of them? Yeah. Yeah. You are standing (laughs) on top. Alt, alt. You know what what the hell I do? All the way down. I get control instead of alt. There you are. You are standing on top of that table. On top of the table, I do a quick swing around with my foot, and I whack that one zombie that's actually standing up with my bonus action. Alright. I'll allow it. whoop a doop a Well, actually, you still have your attack action. No, that was my attack action. <laughs> that was definitely yeah. my attack. Yeah, the stomp down was his attack. Uh... And I remember you have around in a circle, you don't have enough balance to actually reach him. Okay. No. I tried. It's cool. It All right, cool. I am on top of the table, and um, I'm going to end my turn on top of the table, actually. All right. All right. Well, <laughs> let's see. The first one's going to try to throw the table off of himself. That includes you. <laughs> let's see what he makes down there. This would be a really mean time to use turn on yeah, So he's he's trying to shove the table off. You need to make a dexterity save to not fall off the table. I already used my turn last encounter. I can't do it again. 
Make that dexterity save. Oh, you you fall off the table. No, I try to uh, roll to avoid damage. <laughs> from being thrown off, because I think that's different than falling. Eh, not really. You end up falling off over here. Okay. You fell off, so you're prone. Well, that was, that's what I was trying to avoid, but okay. You aren't taking any damage from the fall, but you basically got knocked off the table, so you were knocked off your feet. Okay. But the table's still on top of him. The next one tries to get the table off of him. It's a bit easier now, because you're not on, a, on top of it. He throws the table off of him. Then stands up. Okay, so then it is... Oh, it's his turn now. He just gets to stand up. He's going to attempt to chow down on you, Zane. Nee. Guess who has advantage? He gnaws at you, but you squirm out of the way. And it's Blackjack's turn. Blackjack aims at the one that's standing up that's already getting hit a bunch of times. He takes aim, shakes his uh, hand crossbow a little bit, and it goes, phew, he lets it go with that plus that plus um, magical weapon. This! Oh, geez, you shoot him right in the face. Oh, wow. Right in the face, Blackjack says. You evil thing. Um, let's see here. This, the, that, plus that, because it's magical. Ha-ha! Blackjack says he gets him for just a little damage in the face. Hits him right between the eyes. And down he goes. Yes! I'm useful. And then Blackjack... Can you actually um, say that out loud? No, no. <laughs> Blackjack says, yes! Um, and then... Uh, um, I get a, a move, and I get to reload, and um, it's really cold in my house, so it's distracting. It was snowing, actually, on the way here. Oh, yeah, it's been snowing like a mofo in Jackson. It's still snowing. Man. Oh, I've got other stuff, Chris, th than what's on my uh, list. I've got another piece of paper over here. but I... um, So, actually, Blackjack's just going to stay there and reload because it all looks pretty, pretty decent. Turn done, sorry. Albert. So, I know we just went over jump rules. Just yes or no, can I jump? down these 10 feet with my boots and everything without taking damage, or would that still hurt me? Um, are you trained in acrobatics? I'm not. Then you would take the damage. Okay, then I'm not going to do that. I'll just move here and hit the one in front of me with my mace. And miss the one in front of me with my mace. Okay. And that's the end of my turn. Um, Zing's kind of in a pickle. I'm on the ground. So, 
Lazarus is going to shield bash this one beside him and knock him up flat on his ass. Okay, we'll go here. He needs to beat that in a acrobatics or athletics. Oh, and down he goes. Wait, you're knocking, oh, wow. you, you're knocking him prone, right? Yep. Oh, I thought you meant down as he's dead. I was like, whoa, oh. wow, awesome. And then Lazarus is going to take a step in and then proceed to stab the fucker. This one? Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, wow, uh, yeah, yeah. Definitely, yeah. He takes you that stab, much damage. You stab him and he stops moving. He doesn't stop drooling strangely enough. Oh, he's dead again. And Lazarus just has his shield at the ready. So that's okay. in the face there. I used a crossbow bolt. Okay. So then it's. Wait, he's dead. Zing's turn. <laughs> Zing uh, spends another key point um, and will stand up and use disengage as a bonus action. Okay. Are you, are you going to crawl away? Oh, okay. I was just curious. I mean, you could crawl away. Table flip. So are you going to try to flip the table on top of them? Yes, uh, that's that's what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, give me a strength check to flip the table on top of them. <sighs> that one might be a little much. Oh, Lord. Um, no, actually, no, you know what? Can I add my uh, my plus four to that? My uh, my bless to that? Yeah. Yeah. Bless to that. yeah. <laughs> you can't do anyone that you're making. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh, oh Lord! It flies up in the air and smashes down upon them. I got a twenty-five, you guys. <laughs> they, they, get, they do get to try and dodge it, and neither of them dodge. So, the, is he saying like the table goes flying way up into the air, falling on top of them? Yeah, it flew like, like fifteen feet in the air. I'll uppercut the table. Boom! Well, that's with hands. It landed topside down on top of them. I feel kind of bad for these undead. Like, this is the really. Hear, like a, you hear a crunching noise as it lands on top of them. Isn't it really like a dignified death? It's just kind of a. Dignified? They're ghouls. This is kind of just silly. There um, were four ghouls. There aren't any more. So encounter over. Yeah, they they aren't even twitching. <laughs> they're just, they're just a sickening crunch, and now they're not moving. Uh, is there like any fuel in the uh, in these uh braziers? Are there any chunks of coal in the braziers? And what yeah. else do we see? In yes, here? there are. I'm gonna light them. Okay, you light the braziers. Well, okay. you, you light. You're gonna light all four of them. Yeah. Okay. Then what else do we see in here while he's lighting them? Where are you using to light them, by the way? Because I'm curious. A tinder box. Okay. So it takes him a few minutes. What else do we see in here? Okay. Um, I've got a quick like question, a really quick, about this table. How heavy is it? Uh, it probably weighs, let's see, that table? Probably 50 pounds. It's made out of solid wood. Okay, uh, Zing will actually try to flip it back over the right way, 
um, and inspect how damaged it is. Uh, it's not actually damaged very much at all. <laughs> I am keeping this table. <laughs> Zing will take the table Ooh, the and will actually smashing. drag it off to the side of the room, and he will come back for it later. Okay, so, uh, here, let me, uh... It's a good memory of the table. Yep. <laughs> And Zing will name it the plus one table of undead slaying. <laughs> Minus the plus one. That'll just be out of character, the name for it. You can throw it. You can smack things with it. It's a table. It's like the WWE of... Uh... You can move the table wherever you want. It's like a WWE of uh, D&D. Uh, of the... Like the steel chair. Where did he get that? <laughs> yeah, pulls out the table. Oh, it looks like he has a print. Where did he get that? He just. How did he get that? He just gave it to him over their face. Merry Christmas. Okay. All right. Um, you guys gotta remind me to come back for this table. I'm not taking it out of here right now. But are these just tables here? Yeah, those are those are actually larger tables than the one that you guys threw around. I would like to uh, sift through and examine. Um, I'll tell them this too. I'm, I'm gonna tell Lazarus. Hey, Lazarus, when you get done, check those bodies up there. See if they have anything on them. I'll check these ones down here. And so I will. It's already ahead of you. Are you talking about the dead bodies? Like yeah, the, skel the skeletal remains. Yeah, the skeletal remains. Yeah, we're gonna check the skeletal remains for any stuff. Uh, you see what remains from... Uh, it's similar to the other remains you have found that are skeletal. There's some rusted bits of armor and rusted bits that were weapons at one point, but it's, they're obviously all worthless. Okay. Then I'm going to look under these tables. There's no valuables or anything that you can find. Okay. You look and under the be... tables. You see the underside of the tables. Okay. And now he's got the braziers lit. Does that show us anything else? Does anything happen? That was literally this entire room. That was what? That's why the room lit up. Oh. The braziers are long. I was oh, I was doing the stuff. I was doing the stuff while you were lighting it up because you know using a tinderbox is not instant light. I think we passed a door. Well, Mister Match Man, that can make things. We did. Do what? I don't think we ever saw that door up there, if that's what you're talking we, about. We did. This door? Oh, we okay. We saw the door and decided not to go there. Oh, okay. This is a cool big cave, man. This is the best map ever. This actually is a really good map. So... Like, things seem like they make sense, too. So... Um... Why are these guys still drooling? Are they? I thought well, he was it was just the residual drool in their mouths running out. <laughs> he wanted to make a medicine check. Let him make. Well, you can make a medicine check if you want. It's because they're ghouls. <laughs> and ghouls I... Do that. I don't know what a fucking ghoul is. We might want to decapitate them so they can't be reanimated again. Okay. I was okay. just getting ready to think about I, I know what a ghoul is. Do I, I do I know if they can reanimate themselves after some period of time or something? You are unsure. Okay. okay. Um well You're also unsure. I'm still going to decapitate them. <laughs> Regardless of his sureness. Um, Zing will walk over while Lazarus is doing that and help him, taking out his own sword and going at that and decapitating all the zombies. Oh no, Lazarus is just taking out the battle axe and just execution or stuff. Oh. Okay. Have you been wielding an axe the whole time, or...? No, I just have a plus one magical battle axe. Oh yeah, I remember that, okay. I traded, uh, Happy Flipper for it. They're not made of wood. <laughs> Still a plus one battle axe. <clears throat> yeah. 
Like, I could entirely ruin Zing's dreams. What? Oh. For this table. <laughs> <laughs> uh. But I'm not a jerk. This table Anyways, as well. Uh, we will toy with the idea for half a second. <laughs> so we're just decapitating them and then putting them in a corner. Yep. I'm not touching them. Blackjack says. Lazarus has gloves on, so he'll put them in a corner. Are you putting them? Oh, yeah, like, Blackjack does have gloves on. Like over here. Zing has a stick and uses Blackjack a stick to get them in the corner. <laughs> Once you put them all in the corner, I cast Sacred Flame on them. Well, that is one way to stop them from coming back, I guess. They are charred beyond recognition. Nice. So, we have an upstairs way, which is where I'm going to get once again. Well, I was thinking we go up the stairs so that we can uh, see what is in the rest of this room. You mean so I'm, up here? I'm a, yeah, I'm agreeing with you. Let's go up there. Let's, let's, let's check That's the rest of this room out. I load my crossbow. If I see any undead, I'm going to try to shoot them. Also, that is a weird rock formation. Looks kind of like a... Um, um, Looks kind of like a, a, a person it. kneeling down. Yeah. Yeah. No. We don't need that. It's just a stalag stalagmite. We don't need Tom Berries. He's not a Tom Berry. Blackjack dodges over here quickly. He looks down the hallway. Um, Zing's gonna look around the crevices and little catacombs over here. Hey, um, before we head down there, you you think we should go back and look and see what was in that door? Yeah, sure. Because this is like, I'm pretty sure, yeah. So, um, let's go ahead and do that. If I see undead, I'm going to shoot it. Singh holds his staff in both hands and just kind of like waits for now. And then he sees what uh, Blackjack's doing and will actually take out a dart and ready the same action. Where did you see an undead, you will shoot it. Where did Albert go? No, if He's right uh, behind you. my ready to action is if blackjack if blackjack I shoots something, then I will throw a dart at it. Blackjack oh, cool. is on that square. Nope, I'm right here. Hey, stop moving me, man. Someone just moved me, but yeah, I'm right behind you. I'm what? here, and Albrecht is right there, and you're in front. It's you, then Albrecht, then then Shadow Dude, and Zeng's to your left. Yeah, I was just okay. trying to make your screen update. Sometimes yeah, when yeah. someone moves again, it'll actually yeah. force yeah. the update. Well, um, Lazarus is going to have his shield in front of him, and he's going to open the door. Open the door! This is going to be a mysterious, like, dark room that we just missed for some reason. It's just, it's just going to be a hallway. That's all there it is. It'll be funny if it's just the door. You, you try to open the door, it opens about half an inch, and you, you feel the door hit something. What? Uh, what is this door made of? You also the door the door uh that door is made out of stone and metal. Hmm. Mm. I'm gonna force the door open. And when you open the door, you heard some rough voices on the other side, but you could not understand what they were saying. I'm gonna force that door open. Okay, give me a strength check. I cast what? guidance on this check. <laughs> I'd like to assist him if I can. Best spell ever. Oh. Well, if people are assisting, then. That's advantage nowadays. Yeah, that should be it. Boom! <laughs> boom, apparently. Uh, yeah, that is definitely a boom. Give me just a second. 
Yeah, well, you never breaking down the door. Whoever was yeah, in this that, room that's, was that's lucky as hell. Number. We went completely around it. So, uh, you know, Zing, how you had like a 25 before? I, I have a 28. Nice. How do you have a 28 on a strength check? Because I rolled really good on the guidance. Can... Oh, guidance. Okay. I. <laughs> that makes a lot more sense now. That's still really freaking high. That's a, almost as high as you can get if it's not. That is, that is as high as you can get. <laughs> well, he actually, critted? he could have rolled uh, one more on guidance. Okay, so he critted and he got plus three on the guidance then. And he's got a he's got a five to his strength. Oh no, a three to his strength and two proficiency. Yep. You get to add proficiency to that. I think so. Uh, not to strength checks. Okay, then make it a twenty-five. You mean a twenty-six? Yeah, oh, twenty-six. Twenty-six. Yeah. Still pretty dang good. It's, it's yeah. still that's still more than enough to to blast. <laughs> open this door <laughs> which probably had like a crate behind it actually it had a had a old oak shelf oh. which has now been uh thrown to the ground one day probably. we will find out what's in this room i believe one day you will find out what's in this room oh, oh. it's bugbears not undead also they knew you were coming because you know you tried to open the door once well, I mean, it was really just like I hit something, so I just force it after that. It was more like my action for the same thing. But, okay. Initiative time? Uh, yes. Yes, it is. Oh, sweet. All my spells are recharged. Okay. Hmm. I have to think. It would be very diligent how I use these. And I'm assuming it's been a minute since the last combat. Oh, yeah. Uh, definitely by now, yeah. Yeah. Okay, just making sure. Um, life check? Oh, yeah, I, I should probably roll initiative. Sorry. Yeah, I would appreciate it. Man, we almost missed the bug. I was just party. so excited. See, I was very excited. They were all just cowering. Oh, wait, what is your, your pluses? That. Let me check some. Ah, you win. <laughs> I'm a bard of all trades. Well, you beat the other. Uh, you beat. Wait a minute. No, you don't beat him. What? Because he rolled a twenty. Oh. <laughs> rolled a literal 20. Yeah, he actually a hard 20. 20. Lame sauce. Oh well. They're attacking into a, a funnel. Good luck. And over a cabinet. They're about to get the jazz. Well, he had to knock it out of the way, right? So... Uh, well, yeah, let me... Uh... That's kind of neither here nor there. Does the cabinet go flying and squash one of them? That is the question. Probably just falls it's, over. I think that's a bit too. That's a really tall cabinet. <laughs> it, it would make it harder to get to the door, maybe, but. <sighs> yeah. yeah. Difficult turn to be understandable. Okay. So. Is there? He comes on down to her, <laughs> and he tries to smack you with his morning star. I put my shield in the way. What is your AC? 21. You are getting smacked. Oh. Right across and... the face. Ooh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, would my... Oh, no, I, yeah, I need to say it before then. Never mind. I have to say it before I know the result.
Oh my. You know, I just love those words. <laughs> I just He likes he, it, potato, when you say, oh my. Oh. I just love those words of, oh dear, that's going to be it. Or none. It crunches you right on top of the head for 14 damage. Oh, <laughs> Good you Lord. see, that is something that you could have cut down on. No, you don't know that. He can reduce could... it by 1d6. No, well, yeah, on the damage. But I could have tried to stop the attack. I, and that's why I said, oh, dang. And I only get two uses of that daily, so I have to be very diligent about that anyway. Until level 6. Level 6, you can get it for short re re it, it for short Yeah, rest. but it's still only two... And you know what, Blackjack? It's, it's my turn. turn. It is your turn. Blackjack says, by the knowledge of Hogma, and um, and with a little bit of luck from Tamora, and he waves his hand, waves his uh, crossbow in the general direction, um, right here, and he casts Fairy Fire because he's cool like that. Um, they all have to save against uh. Dex uh, 12. That's the DC. Dexterity save for 12, or they're granting combat advantage. And it hits all of them, or it targets all of them. Or better yet, they all have to make a saving throw. All of them with that one managed to pat themselves out. Oh, that was lame, but okay. Then at the end of your turn? Yeah, I just said my turn is done. It's coming for you, Lazarus. Maybe this one I'll put my shield in front of. Let's see. I think he has a plus. Yeah, that's it. That's what he has. Oh, well. Okay, well. Yeah, um, you see, he's going to trip over the table. Actually land right there, prone. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Well, that changes okay. what I was going to do this turn. Jesus Christ, upper trolled better than me. <laughs> Uh, by one. He rolled better than you by one. I uh, want some more bless everybody. Cool. And that's it's my turn. Okay, Lazarus. Um. <clears throat> I am going to shout at them. I should clarify I'm at everyone but myself. Okay. We've caught your leader. Now stand down or die. Oh, and that, okay. Do I need to make an intimidate check for that? Uh, yeah, you're trying to intimidate them. Yeah, or die. He did, if you said something like, it's pointless, that may be a persuasion. Can I assist? Unfortunately, I think it might be a little late for that. Well, I mean, it wasn't my turn, otherwise I would have said something. And I mean, we do have visual proof that their leader is at least missing his staff. The potato muses. 
Uh, it's more along the lines of, uh, I forgot something, so I'm having to look it up. It's more fun to think, though, that you're just thinking very hard at. What would God do? Or, or it's like a big um, turning hourglass. Let's see here. The, uh, let's see. This one, the one that smacked you really hard, says, what proof have you? I point to the, the, to the spider staff right beside me. Oh. Shake Zingway it, Adam, Zang, shake it, Adam. Black, Blackjack says. <laughs> Zing wiggles it. So, they immediately drop their weapons. Good. Will you let us go? Are you going to terrorize the people here? No. Then get out. I'd now. like to insight check whether or not he's telling the truth. Okay. Same. Um, we'll even escort you out. We want you gone. From what you can tell, they are telling the truth. Blackjack doesn't say anything, he just... Answer. All right. Well, let's escort them out. Though. No, they are not taking the. Yeah, we're just going back to the beginning, and they don't have okay. any weapons. Oh, we get to escort them. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. To, for simplicity, can we yeah, leave all of our to tokens here and just assume that we around. bring them back to the front? Just a second. Yeah, we'll just take it. You don't need. To. You're heading through a route you know, correct? Yes. Yes. We were there. Did we go back through the room that we killed all the undead in? No. Uh, from there, no. You probably went out this the uh, the east side, uh, west side. Got it. With the lake. Yeah. All right. As you come down here, Gundren looks down and says, What are you doing? <laughs> They're leaving. They're leaving? Yeah. He looks very suspicious, but he backs up. They're unarmed. There's no need for further bloodshed here. Um, Zing, you go up first. With Albrecht, me and Blackheart will stay down here. Okay, that work. That work. Zing we will. We will lead them out. Zing will walk up the wall and just stand up there. I'll follow him up, but use the rope. I mean, you can just here. jump up there, actually. Yeah, I guess I could. <laughs> Mr. Dwarf of whoop. As long as he's very precise in his, and he doesn't jump over ten feet, or yeah. Like, go over 10 feet over the top. Blackjack shakes his crossbow at them. Lazarus will come up. And we will escort them outside of the cave. Blackjack's waiting for a little bit more. Here. Boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Ah. Out of the cave. <laughs> Man, I didn't think that would work. <laughs> Sing shrugs. That was pretty cool, though. I'm Saved a, yourselves a, a lot of hassle nervous, doing that. But... Okay. Yeah, but who knows if they'll come back or not with more friends or something I'm not I'm not saying we should have killed them I'm just saying it's uh it's puts me a little on edge makes me a little uncomfortable 
Albrecht just smiles and says, Lazarus saved a few lives. It's good work. Yeah. So you're just going to let them go? Yeah. Um, all right. Their leader's captured. We have proof of it. I think they the only reason they were doing this crap is because of him. Well, it's good they're gone, then. They don't belong down here. So have you guys finished clearing out the cave yet? Oh, God, no. We're almost done. Oh. Uh, have you found the forge? Yeah, we yes. found that a while back, remember? Oh, no, my. we just found it. Yeah. Oh, oh, the forge. Yeah. I thought you meant, like, the magic fire. No, yeah. he means oh, the real forge. The, uh, the forge? Um... The uh, forge had a uh, flaming skull in it. We killed it. Oh, well. Wow. Did you pour holy water on it? Um, yep. That was what killed it, yes. He threw holy water on it in a matter of fashion. Ah, well, good. Things like that tend to be... Also, Lazarus is, like, persistent. Drinking some medicine. Ow. Well, uh, how much of the cave do you think you have left to explore? Just a little bit. We don't know, maybe an hour or two or three. Yeah, and it's that. It should be done re- relatively quick. Great. In the big scheme of things, you know, a few hours is not going to be. Well, a few hours here and there is not really that big of a deal. All right. We'll head back and see what we can and get to clearing it out. So out of character and in character both, I would propose that we go back to the same spot that we were. Yep, yeah, we are the... searching that room. Oh, okay, cool. Hey, I was moving you as a group. Now I don't know where you went. I went to the room. <laughs> yeah, you, when you guys moved your pieces while I was moving them, it made you like explode over nothingness. Oh, jeez. So, uh, yeah. We. Back in the room. I'm going to search. I will be searching with my investigation skill. I'm looking at this box. So, does anyone want to assist me in searching? I cast Guidance on Lazarus. Yeah! I investigate the room, guys! Uh, Lazarus, you find, uh, you find nothing interesting. I didn't roll yet. Well, what's that one? Oh, that's Uh, something else. That's for medicine! (laughs) Well, what's that over there? Small alcove with a shelf. That is my check. Okay. Did you see my check? Yes, I did see your check. We'll get to that. Okay. I'm excited. I'm searching over here with the shelf. I thought it was a box. As you look through the room, Lazarus, you see there's a shelf with some clothes on it there. Uh, They're old. They don't look like they're worth anything. They're pretty common clothes. And you search some more, but unfortunately you turn up empty-handed. Hmm. Doesn't look like there's anything in here. Blackjack. Looking around the room at the way things are situated, it becomes obvious to you Uh huh. that this was the leader's bed. Uh-huh. So you go over and look. Yep, I'm I'm investigating. And after searching through the bed, (coughs) you manage to find a small pouch hidden in a cut in the mattress. Ooh, I found something, guys. I saw it. Sweet. What's find? I do not know. I open the bag. You open this pouch, and you see a small amount of copper, a small amount of gold, and a little bottle. Ooh. Um, what color is the bottle? Is, is it clear? Mm-hmm. Uh, the bottle is clear, yes. The liquid inside is green. Green. Do I recognize uh, With my knowledge of poisons. 
You are aware of a few green poisons, but this doesn't appear to be any of them. Then I open the bottle and I take a little finger taste. Do I know what it is? Uh, you feel slightly le- when you when you dip the drop on your tongue, you feel slightly less exhausted. Hmm. Okay. Well, then I put it in and put it away. And how much copper and gold did I find? You found 15 copper and 13 gold. I give each of the people 15 copper, 13 gold. I give each of them five copper, and I give each of them uh, four gold. Keep the extra one for yourself. Yeah, I keep the extra one. (laughs) Oh, yeah. The extra one. (laughs) Anyway, I divvy up the gold, and I say, that's all I found. <clears throat> yeah, I didn't see anything here either. Oh, I found this potion, and I say, it's green, and I'll look at it like, it's not bad. It tastes kind of funny. I feel a little bit less tired. I kind of took a little little taste, a little nibble. Huh. Empty. I can take a look at it if you want. Okay, I show it to him. And I, by the way, I'm wondering if this is a potion of vitality. I don't even... Like, out of character, I don't know what it does, but that's my only indication of a guess. So I'm training an herbalism kit. Can I use that to see what it is? You can use it to attempt to figure out what the potion is, yes. I want to assist him with that. that What would that be a role of? Wisdom? Uh, Well, you're using... uh, Yeah, yeah, that'd be wisdom. Can I assist? You You can attempt to assist, yes. Oh no! You well, can just assist. That's what yeah. I, I that's what I do. I just assist. I grant him combat ad, or I grant him advantage on his roll. No, no, you grant him combat advantage on his. <laughs> Don't smash the bottle, Albert. Uh, that is a potion of vitality. Only I, said, I tell him you're right. Potion of vitality, and I hand it back. Aha! Okay, I write it down. In my sheet here. Uh, let me tell you what it does. Okay. Potion of Vitality uh, removes any exhaustion you are suffering. That's like exhaustion points. Yeah. They go away. Yeah. It cures any disease or poison afflicting you. Wow. And maximizes the effect of any hit dice you spend to regain hit points in the next 24 hours. Wow. It's really good. I'd save it for huh. um, someone that really gets a lot of their out of their hit dice. What are you, yelling at, Lazarus? <clears throat> you didn't ask to look at it. No, 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 no. That's not about that at all. Don't um, worry about did it. Did I find anything in the shelf? Okay. Uh, in that shelf over there, there are some assorted odds and ends. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you He's looking more so for the odds. I... Yeah, he is <laughs> looking for the odds. I'm looking for weird stuff. <laughs> can I ask, can I assist them? Uh, no, you're, you're not by him. Okay. And... That was during your searching of the bag. I know, I know, but when Potato gives one reason... It... It's like... <laughs> don't you be were that searching guy, it Mike. while you were looking for the bag, basically. Yeah, I know, I know. I knew that, don't worry. And that's what Arthur... Are. Don't be that guy, Mike. Dude, I'm not no guy. I'm just some dude. I'm actually kind of surprised that, like, I actually ended that combat without any bloodshed besides my own you do find something 
and it is a small scroll case that appears to be made out of bone. Uh, I open it. There is nothing inside of it. I turn it over and like the try to shake it out. Are uh, metal. You shake it out and nothing shakes out. So it's like an empty skull case. Empty bone scroll case. Yeah, it's it's uh white. Well, it's the color of bone, and it's stopped at each end with a metal cap that's inlaid with the pattern of an eye. This is weird. Blackjack thinks for a minute while you... Does he see you do this? Singh holds it out at you. Uh, yeah, you probably see him do that. Um... He doesn't say why, but Blackjack says just a sec, and out of character, due to his previous learnings, he begins to feel around on the floor, see if he feels anything that he cannot see. Hey, give me a perception check. <laughs> I cast guidance on the check. He cast guidance on the check! Add, add a d4. Okay, I'll hey, take it. Hey, bonus. Uh, as you scramble around on the floor... I'm not scrambling, I'm like sifting oh, my fingers across the floor. Unfortunately, you do not find anything as you are hmm. sifting around on the floor. And then he stands up and Zing looks he's under the still rug. holding it out. Is that right? <laughs> uh, uh, then I will... Will you hand me the, the tube while you do that? Blackjack says... Well, I mean, he does it so, like, he sees you do the thing with the floor, and then he looks down at the rug and, like, immediately just kicks the rug up. Well, I'm, I'm, I was standing next to you, so I was, or I was looking at wherever you kind of, like, tried to empty this, empty the thing. So, I, do you mind handing me this, and I'll get off the rug, and I'll examine it. Uh, sure, I guess. All right. I look at the thing, and I put my fingers in there to see if I can pull anything that may be invisible out. Well, first, let's discuss that rug. You kick the rug aside, and you discover floor beneath the rug. What? Like, the same floor or wooden the same, floor? The same exact floor. Oh. It's that nice stone, big old five foot by five foot stone tile that is mysteriously in this whole place. I check for trap and doors. As far as okay, you stuck your fingers in it. He does have a passive perception of nineteen. Yes, I know he does. Okay. And you you feel around inside, but you only feel the inside of the the uh, scroll case. You you don't f you feel that there's anything in there. Oh, okay. Uh, oh well. It's pretty nice I, looking. Though. Yeah, I was gonna say. Hey, say how much do you want for this scroll case? Uh, huh? Oh, I just have it. I don't care. All right. Zing is more preoccupied hey, with trying to anyway. find secret compartments and passages out here because he finds this really weird. So he's going to look for a secret door in the, in the, the, the uh, bookshelf. Okay. Uh, give me a perception check. I'm going to help him because I see him searching through the door now. Thing says, this seems searching for through the door, searching through the bookcase. Investigation. You, you, well, he was using perception. Well, I I grant him advantage. Roll again, Zang. As you sift through the different things on the shelf, you cannot find any hidden mechanisms. Dang. Blackjack says, "Dang, Zang." I thought you may have been on to something, too. This just seems suspicious to me for some reason. Uh, can you detect magic in this room? Okie dokie, I will give it a shot. Hey, are you guys okay waiting about ten minutes? Um, 
I'm just like sit on this bed. All right. Keep it faster if I assist you. As you sit on the bed, it deflates a whole lot. Uh, Blackjack says, "All right." As Blackjack rubs his hands and he says, "Agmas, Agma, show us where the magic is." And he claps his hands together. And I assist him in the casting. After a few minutes, you are able to sense where all the magic in the room is, which is you guys. You do not I sense any foreign magic. Okay, I well, think I'm done. Says, it doesn't look like there's any more magic thing. Okay, I think I'm done. All right, let's uh, proceed. Um, there was a passage, actually, I wanted to check. Uh, would you guys mind going my way? There's, like, three different passages. I know. Like I kind of wanted to go this way, or in the back into the big cave where we were. We, before we drop those other guys back off. All right, I guess it doesn't really matter, so let's do that. So, seeing we'll grab him. I don't know which way. It's one of the two ways down. Yeah, we're going to search it all eventually. It doesn't really matter which way we go. I mean, I pinged that one, but I don't care which one. Give me two seconds. One, two. While you do the two seconds, I have to go pee. I'll be right back. I really want some popcorn. I'll be right back. So you guys are... While he's peeing, if that's okay. Anybody potato. else? Maybe? <laughs> potato, do I have your permission to go get food? Yes, you can go get food. Okay, bless you. As long as it doesn't take like 20 minutes. It's just popcorn. Potato, can I take you to like... Can I take you to the private channel for like five seconds? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, let me. Yeah. All by myself. I'm back. Everyone else is still gone, but me. Okay. Then I'm going to go get some more milk. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight exits. Oh, and I give um, Zhang a gold earring with a ruby because he's into that stuff, I thought. so. Did you have a number next to that? Yes, 30 gold. Yeah, okay. Do you get that, Zhang? He's making popcorn. Okay, oh, yeah, then he, will, is make, he is making popcorn. I will tell him when he gets back. It's a gold earring with a ruby, 30 gold. Did well, you just well, get that well. off of some guy who had that? Yeah, at some point in time. I can't remember. I it was, a, who had that. It was yeah. the same enemy that also had an eye patch. Oh, that's right. <laughs> he was styling and profiling. Oh, my oh, God. I forgot I had the eye patch. Holy crap. So. I think that's your only magic item, Mike. <laughs> I think you're right. But, well, technically speaking, not quite my only magic item. For the next 11 hours? No, not that much technically speaking. Although that's a good point. That's technically speaking, yeah. 
<laughs> Technically speaking, I have more magic items for 11 hours. Um, um, I have some interesting... Oh, man. I just realized something. I've got so many things to do. You know, I feel kind of bad for, like, having you guys waste your spells back there. Back, I only wasted... I didn't really waste a spell. You cast I Fairy got, Fire and... Claire and I cast Bless. bless. But it's not a big deal. We still dealt with the encounter. Yeah, I've got, like, six or seven spells per day now. I've got uh, six total spells per day, so I'm doing quite fine. Like, I think, I, it's a level one spell, dude. In, in my opinion, I think people would rather suddenly go, hey, we just suddenly beat this encounter, rather than having to spend an hour fighting it. Um, yeah. Plus, yeah. <laughs> well, plus, I mean... Yeah, I was, I was going to say, like, I would maybe have casted another spell. Maybe, you know? So, it's fine. It, it, it more or less ended an encounter that might have taken 30 minutes to an hour and, like... Two. Yep. Yeah. Uh, can we see down this hallway at least just, like, a voice? Oh, yeah, yeah. I just hadn't done anything yet. So, this is the way you guys are going? Yeah. Okay. And you get that. Oh god damn it! Yeah, it's the maze again. <laughs> Why is it god damn it? It's just a, it's just a T. Hate, hate mazes. Still, it's right very now. unamazing. You better be glad I like you. I would beat you for that pun. It. You're threatening to assault somebody on the internet. I'm back. Yeah, I know. I was like, oh, okay. Sorry, what? I don't know if that's OOC or IC. That no, was IC. Because, like, I assumed that Blackjack I'd... said that. No, he really didn't. Okay. I was saying that OOC, sorry. But yeah, I get to just. So, okay, <laughs> you're, you're back now? Yeah, he said he was. He said he's back. You moved down the hallway. I lock and load my crossbow. There's something you need to tell Zang first, Blackjack. Oh, yeah. Hey, Blackjack, I give you a uh, gold earring with a root, and it's worth 30 gold. So you gave an earring to yourself. <laughs> oh, my bad. Hey, Zang, I give you... <laughs> I'm so kind. <laughs> oh, you're so kind, Blackjack. Thank you, Blackjack. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, man. Yeah, I did not recognize that that up until you pointed out. Yeah. I was like... uh, Zang, uh, Blackjack gives you, um, and that's why I got confused. As I was thinking of who did the action. Yeah. Blackjack gives you a, a gold earring, uh, excuse me, with a ruby, and it's worth approximately 30 gold, he tells you. But he figured you're the one who liked wearing the jewelries. And immediately puts it on. Are your ears pierced? Yup. They are now. Yeah, that's how he does it. He just... <laughs> he takes one damage for it. He takes it for the team. He's got 19 strength. He can just shove him right through his ear. And I mean, he takes one damage. I, I spend one point of my lay on hands to patch up the damage. <laughs> patch himself up. <laughs> oh, man. Mm. OP lay on hands. Oh, no, I can cover a whole lot. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> he goes, he's he's oh. excited. Let him oh, know. I thought that you uncovered that. So, like, like, just this, and that's all we saw. So, I got confused. There's a hallway there. I'd like to listen for stuff. There's a lot of hallways. Yeah, there is. <laughs> I'd like to listen for stuff. Didn't give me that perception check. You hear the same noise you hear in this entire cave. That nice Our wishy washy sound. Oh, we hear a squishy squashy sound? No, the wishy washy sound of the wave echo cave. Oh, okay. So, uh, I don't hear anything, you guys. Zing moves up a bit. Let's try to double back. Let's, let's, yeah, this looks like it. 
like just goes back to where we came. I would have no idea. Like if I was literally in that cave, I would not be able to get a conclusion. Well, following the luck I'm saying. Oh, it's a cave in. Yes. Okay, you get that much. It's another dead end. <laughs> But Albert's in the void. Albert's in the void. Yeah, I moved under Zang accidentally. Well, huh. It's like they were just digging tunnels or something. Zang. Wait, Zang, Black Jack says. <laughs> Zang, Zang's gone. Oh, home. I'm sorry, guys. Zing this was just a dead work. end that we found for the first time, right? A door! Oh, those connect? Hmm. Yes, there is a door there. Let's see what we see down here and go check out a door. Zing, wrong way. I'm checking down here. I thought this is what you want me to do. There's a door up here. We should they check this. To, they went to the door, Zang. We'll zoom to the look left and right really, really quick. I'm the light source. <laughs> it's you. It's really dark where you are right now, Zane. You can barely see. Dark is scary. Okay, let's go. <laughs> I don't like it when dark it's dark. Is... I can't see. <laughs> Welcome to uh, me. All the time. If I see undead, I'm gonna shoot it. Okay. I'm gonna push open the door very carefully. Uh, the the door is locked. What kind of door is it? It's the same as the other door, but this one has a lock. Oh, on this side or? Uh, there is a key required on this side. There's Don't a key. We have a there key. Is a key for... There is a keyhole. I put a hand back tor towards Blackjack for the key. That we found earlier. Uh, I hand him. Um, I think it was like the anvil key or something. I hand him. I was getting ready to say that was the first one I was going to choose. I hand him. Try this one. <laughs> I say as I hand. I reached into my coat and I then I hand him a key with an anvil. I attempt to use it. You hear a click. Ha! Ah. Yeah. I put the key in my pocket and then <laughs> proceed to open the door. And as he's doing that, I get back behind here. And I do the thing where if I see an undead, I'll shoot it. I shut the door. Aha! Oh, I saw an undead first, though, right? Do I get to shoot him? You can try. All right. I get to shoot him. Take this. Ah, potato. We're all he in shoots. darkness now. Pew. Uh... Where are you, ghoul stats? You hit. 
All right. Well, you see, it, were... as you're shutting the door, you see it. You see a bolt go flying through just before you shut it. We don't know. I don't even know if I hit him. You shut it so fast. Um, it deals. Uh, uh, did I have advantage for that attack? Yes, yes, you did. Oh, I did. Yes. Dang. Okay. Um. Oh, then in that case, yeah, <laughs> there you go. Oh, 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 there's some damage there for you. Hey, Albert, can uh, can ghouls open doors? I'll make a knowledge religion check to see if they can open doors. I reload my crossbow. Actually, I just locked the door. <laughs> yes. <laughs> As he's thinking about it, he it's like, locks the door. As you lock the door, Albrecht, do you know the answer is yeah. Yeah, they can. They can open doors. It's almost like they have hands. <laughs> and they're hungry for hands. Ugh. Well, um, the door is locked. Do we want to try to like open and kill them? I can't remember what else is in the room. I only saw that one... Ghoul. Uh, there were like shot. three. But it's only three. If there's some way we can... um, If Zang takes the front with Sanctuary and just stands there while we uh, shoot him from a distance or something, if he's clogged in the... I don't know. If there's some way where we can get the jump on, we can get advantage. That's the big thing. You hear a thump on the other side of the door. Let's just check out the rest of the time. Mm. I mean, we're gonna have to deal with them eventually. I so think we need to go ahead. Yeah. What if yeah, What if we I... woke them and they somehow get out and then we don't know where? That's a bad thing. Black checks us. I think we need to make a plan and act on it and get rid of them. <laughs> just, just to be funny. I... Chris uh, labels the zombies one, two, and four. Oh no. <laughs> 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 if, yeah, if if they had done that, that's pretty funny. Oh, that would have been cool. awful. It's like, oh, geez. They have the uh, numbers one, two, and four painted on them. No, but, but what he's saying is that if like we were we let them stay there and countered them later, and you only had three, but you numbered them one, two, and four, we would like freak out because we'd be wondering where the third one was, even if there wasn't a third one. Uh, it's uh, pulling the golem and is currently crawling across the ceiling. No, there's just not never a third one. It's just, no, no, I, I know, I know, but it, it's just that lingering worry of where the fuck is it. Um, so I'm just gonna if unlock you open, the. I'm gonna well, unlock the door and put my shield in the way. I'm gonna shoot undead that I see. You hear another thump on the, side, the other side of the door. I can't open the door. Do we want to? Okay. Black check size, and he's looking to see a a go ghoul to shoot roll, at. Roll a strength check real quick. What? I cast guidance on him as he's kicking the door. I did unlock the door. door. Hit something solid as you kick it open. Does the door open though? Yes, it does. He needs no stinking guidance. <laughs> this destroys he everything. The one that was thumping on the door down. Do I get to shoot this one? Uh, yeah. All right. Do I get combat advantage? You were hidden from it, so I'm just asking potato. Yeah, yeah, you can have combat advantage. Woo! Combat advantage. Plus two. Woohoo! Woo I do this much damage. Did. I do any damage to that guy or just knock him prone? You don't know. That'd be a good one. Well, he doesn't know. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't but know. But he is prone, so... Upsides, downsides. Oh, hey, a door. You do too much damage. Oh, man. As, as you see, oh, oh hey, a door, um, Blackjack says... Give Zang the key! He can get there in time! 
Maybe. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Why, though? Mm. Initiative time is what's going on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This skeleton is reading books. The reason my initiative is so poorly is because I already acted. Same here, man. Same here. So, mine's really bad. I bet you mine is worse than. What do you get? I got a total of a four. Actually, I got a total of a two. Yours. I got a total of a two. <laughs> did you roll a crit one? Yeah. You <laughs> I did you too. Both rolled a crit. <laughs> uh, you guys had so such good initiative last couple battles. This one, everyone has crud. Well, <laughs> it's not that. We had bad initiative. It's just that most of us already acted, so it's like the bottom of the initiative is at the top. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That that's how it plays out here. It's the like we dead, got an extra the turn. Dead ghoul has a faster initiative than you. He's dead and he's faster than you. Well, I mean that's fair. So actually, he got the fastest initiative out of everyone. Ah! <laughs> if the oh, weird of... stands back up, a little wobbly. Ah! He's gonna try to <laughs> claw at you. I put my shield in the way. No, that's a bad goo. Your AC is twenty. He squirts water at it. It is twenty. It is 20. You managed to hold back his claws from scratching you. That's a bad ghoul. Go sit over there with your friend. Is that ghoul already dead? Yes, you killed him. killed him. Yes! <laughs> That's why I said you do too much damage. Sorry, I didn't, I didn't even know. I was too busy uh, having a really shift to notice he died. <laughs> That's a bad ghoul number two. You sit over there with your friends. You managed to hold back his claws as well. Zang. Zang's going to make a grab for the key out of Lazarus's pocket. I mean, how big... <laughs> it might not be fast enough. Are you going to try to not let him get the key, Lazarus? I'm not going to stop him, but uh, there you, you go. Do, There's you do that information with what you will, because they are in the same pocket. What? Actually, it's three different keys. Those are twenties after. He, yeah. You could use your action to take the key out of his pocket. So he'll reach in the pocket. What does he feel in the pocket? <laughs> he'll grab that all is of his them. key pocket. Okay, he takes all of your keys. Hey, I need those for things. For things. I'm a key hoarder or anything. Zing spends a key point. Unironically. <laughs> he spends a key point. Yes, yeah, so to a uh, bonus action dash. No, but it's. It's it's a key point. Yeah, we, we got it. Okay. I thought it was really funny. Pun is awful. I end my turn. Well, you can unlock the door. That's exactly where I That's am. Just, and... You can you can you can attempt to to unlock or lock the door with one of those keys. Well, he'll In take the complete the, darkness. He'll take the, the anvil key darkness. and try to uh, <laughs> unlock the door with it. You manage to find the keyhole and stick the key in and turn it, and you hear a click. Yay! He holds it in the door and does not move any anymore. And he ends his turn right there. Okay, Albert. I try and smash the one that's next to the door. That one. Okay. Well, that's the only one he can see. <laughs> that's true. 
You managed to hit the door frame. That's the end of my turn. Blackjack. Blackjack uh, is going to try to shoot him. Yeah, he's going to like shoot him with his crossbow. You know, 10 crossbow. Um, With this. You hit. Ah, the arrow goes flying over uh, Lazarus' shoulder. And hits him for the, and hits the ghoul for that much damage. And it sounds like he's really reaching in his pocket now. It's staggering. My turn is it. done. My turn is done. Lazarus. I'm gonna make sure that he staggers some more. Staggers right into the goddamn ground. <laughs> He needs to beat that. It's possible. Very unlikely. Awesome. No, no, no. Is Zeng speed seven? It's eight. Awesome. I proceed to stab him while he's on the ground. I, I guess it only needs to be six, but yeah. Mmm. Mmm. You know what you gotta do. Mmm. Mmm. Holy shit. <laughs> so, uh... I guess what Lazarus... What do you want to have happen? <laughs> uh, probably lop off an arm and then the head. Possibly in, like, a diagonal cut. Like, just straight through the torso. Like, one slice. You bisect him. Pretty gory. I don't know what the fuck that sound is. Is that hail? It's probably sleet or hail, yeah. He slices, he dices. The human Ginsu knife. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, Lazarus just kind of stands there with his shield still at the ready. Oh, looks like I'm about to get some decent snow. <laughs> Says the ghoul. Huh. As he is bisected. Surprisingly, <laughs> <laughs> the ghoul spoke right as you killed him. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like I'm going to get some decent snow. Uh... Just talking about cocaine. So, Mike, you want to know how much damage that was? <laughs> uh, not really. It's just kind of, it's kind of random. It was 18. Cool. It's the same thing I rolled for the attack. Well, not for that one, but for the one before. Anyways, uh, that's the end of my turn. Well then. The last remaining ghoul will attempt to claw at you. I put my shield in the way. One claw reaches around your shield. I do, not you. I do not want this no no no. What's your race? You're human, right? Yeah. It scratches you for six slashing damage. And now make a constitution saving throw. Oh, see. I, I hope that gets it. It does. You feel stiff for about a tenth of a second, then you shake it off. Yeah. I do not want the bad touch. And then it's Zang's turn. Zinkix open the door. You kick open the door. Hi, zombie. And now you can get flanking. Beat. This intelligence is seven. In your haste, 
you slide slightly on the ground and overshoot with your attack. Mm. That makes me upset, so I punch it. <laughs> punch it. <laughs> <laughs> you spin in a little circle trying this to punch is it. This so dumb. And you, and you do and fall down. What? <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, my gosh. Those two were part of the same thing. I just forgot to roll twice for the uh, drop low thing. But you leave back up. <laughs> Well, I just rolled three sevens in a row, and then a crit like one. So, uh, Zing looks very annoyed by that. So it's, it's like you're breakdancing. Very poorly. Mm. Mm, I end my turn. Albert. I move up here and smash him with a mace. Cleric smash. How much does Cleric smash? Cleric smash smashes is for that much. He staggers around a little bit when you hit him like that, when you hit him that hard. And that's it on my turn. Blackjack. Blackjack finally finds it in his pocket, loads up the crossbow and fires the crossbow. Just like the last time, it strikes him square in the forehead. Ha <laughs> ha! Blackjack says. That one above him is dead, right? Oh. <laughs> he, he's doing cocaine. <gasps> he was, yeah, he was looking for some more snow. That's what it was. And then he realized, oh, wait, I'm dead. Again. Thud. Blackjack puts his crossbow away. Zing sighs loudly in annoyance and holds out the keys to Lazarus. Lazarus puts the keys back in his keys pocket. Oh man, this guy was trying to hide something. Zing goes Blackjack over on this says. bed to meditate on his failure. <laughs> Blackjack looks at this bookshelf or shelf. Uh, it is a bookshelf. You can see, well, there's some various knickknacks and such on it, as are on most shelves, but it is a bookshelf. What knickknacks are on the shelf? Uh. Well, uh... We have, like, a description of the room, since... Oh, yes, I should yeah. give a description of the room. Yeah. Okay, this, there are old stone bunks in orderly rows along the walls of this chamber, and a corroded iron brazier full of old coal stands near the middle of the room, except it's a little, little to the south. Yeah. The bones of half a dozen dwarves and orcs lie strewn about, clad in scraps of armor. Okay, um, what's on this bookshelf? Or this shelf? Uh, there are some books. There are some knickknacks, as I stated. Um, what knickknacks and books are there? Most of the books have been, in fact, I'd say, actually, let me look. Yeah, all the books are uh, definitely beyond repair. They've probably rotted at a point and they can't even be read. Okay. And has the same happened to the knickknacks? Uh, no, no, there is like a little, uh, there's a little statuette of, of an angel. Does it look valuable to me? Uh, well, give me some kind of check to determine whether it's valuable. 
insight check. Uh, it might be valuable. You aren't really sure. What's it? Uh, so it's a statue of an angel? How big it's, is it? It's about five inches tall. Oh, yeah. I'll put that in my bag. I'll look at that later. What other knickknacks are there? There is a small wooden box. Uh, I pick up the wooden box and I attempt to open it. It opens easily. And what's in the box? Uh, paper. Well, okay. it's, par it's parchment paper. What kind of it's anything in on It's in surprisingly good condition, but all the pages appear to be blank. I am so tired of this. I am so frustrated. <laughs> Blackjack says, I'm done. I have had it. Agma, sh Agma, show me the good news. And he sees invisibility. They're all blank. <laughs> Dang. It's a box of paper. Just a box of blank paper. Wait. It's parchment paper. You, you took... See invisibility. Yes. When you have fairy fire, which lets you see invisible. Anyways. No, it doesn't. It lets you see objects. See invisibility allows you to literally see invisible things. Hmm. As if they and were if, not invisible. And no. Yeah. And if I cast fairy fire on something, it allows you to see as if they're not invisible. But I also have to, if I'm casting that on an invisible creature, I have to know where that invisible creature is. I have to have a really good idea because it's only, uh, yeah, it's only 20, 40, 20, 400 square feet. It's only 20 feet by 20 feet. So it's like I can't just like cast it in the room over everything. Oh, but, well, this room you could almost. Uh, no, it's not even half this room. But anyway, yeah. So see, invisibility just allows me to instantly see all invisible things. So if, if I ever need to, I can see invisibility, and then I can cast fairy fire on something to make you guys be able to see it, too. Okay. I'm tired of this invisibility and things sneaking away from me. Ah, Blackjack says, ah, and he, dump, he dumps all the paper down over the floor and throws the box aside and looks at the other trinkets. Uh, well, there's only, there's only one left. He looks at the, the final trinket. It is a small wooden cup. With some dice in it. He examines the material that the dice are made out of. Uh, they look like they might be made out of bone. Which actually isn't that uncommon. I don't have any dice. Blackjack puts them in his pouch because he could use dice. It is a com it is a complete set of uh, dice made out of bone. It's like two dice, yeah, or a, a complete. Well, set. it's well, I say it's a complete set. It's two square dice, is what it is. Bone dice, X2. All right, got it. Blackjack would like to examine the quality bear rug. Quality of the bear rug. Oh, abysmal. I mean, just looking at it, it's not good. Blackjack says, I'm so tired of seeing invisible things. Out of character, it's an ironic statement. Um, What's this thing over here? That is a... Uh... Like a thing you hang cloaks on? Has anybody looked at that yet? I don't believe so. Matt allows you to take like a five minute group. Uh, I will examine the thing I you hang stuff. There are some really old looking cloaks hanging up there. I say, can you guys give me ten minutes? Sure. Zing appears I to be rub my hands together and say, Agma. Okay. Agma, show me where the magic is. And I shake my hands and I'm you just trying to. with that? Yeah, sure. Anytime. I continue. Right, assistant shake... casting tech magic. I continue to shake my hands for the next five minutes. The tech magic is only one action, though. Uh, it's a 10 minute thing as a ritual, I believe. No, it's just times the timer by 10. Oh, really? Identify I, magic I, would be uh, would be one minute. As well. Yeah, oh, I didn't. Oh, I didn't know it was times ten. Okay, I thought it was just yeah. Ritual rituals, basically ten minutes. All right, no, no. cool. It's, it's gotcha. Got it. 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 I'm gonna tell you again. I cast it. You cast it after about half a minute because two of you are doing it. 
Yes. Uh, you sense all the magic in the room, and it's all coming from you people. Oh, that's it? Yeah. Um, I look at the cloaks. Does any of them look particularly valuable? <coughs> uh, no, like no. silk or something? Well, one, uh, one of them is made of silk, but it's very old. Looks like it might fall apart if you touch it. Okay, well, then I'm not going to bother. Blackjack looks frustrated, and he thinks you're hard, and he shakes his head. What's this over here? That is a small table. Okay. There is nothing on the table. Yeah, I got it. Oh, well, Blackjack would also like to look over the bodies to see if uh, there are any, like, um, I don't know, any weapons or or small valuables or anything. Well, give me a perception check then. You managed to find amongst the bodies a gold necklace. I pick it up. And it's not magical, obviously. So I hang on to it for a minute. And then I get this brilliant idea. Um, I'm just going to put it on just to have a place to put it, really. So I put on the gold necklace. I take off my hat. I put it on, and I put my hat back on. And then I walk over to Albrecht, and I show him the little statue. Say, do you know what this is? I'll make an knowledge religion check. Do I know what that is besides it just being an angel? Uh, well... It's an angel, really. Um, they aren't necessarily in service to any particular god. I mean, you know what an angel is. Albert hmm. says it's, it's an angel. That's about all I can tell. Oh, I got an idea. And help me detect if there's any magic coming from this specifically. Okay. I assist him in the casting. All right. We detect if there's anything magical coming from this specifically. Oh, wait, that's true. Is there magic? Nope. Okay. What's it made out of? It appears to be made out of some kind of a white stone. Do you know what this kind of white stone is, Albrecht? I'll try and find out. And stone cunning applies to that, right? Yes, it does. Oh, yeah. Rolling dice. I hand him the dice, the bone dice. Just kidding. Well, you aren't as hundred percent sure. It might be marble, but you aren't. You are not sure. It could be marble, but I really have no idea. Okay, I put it away. It's been five or so minutes, so I walk over, Zang, take off my hat, take off the chain, and say, "Hey, here's some more jewelry, Zang." Since it's your thing. Has it been 30 minutes? And I dangle it in front of him and jingle, jingle, jingle. 30 minutes? Has it been 30 minutes? <laughs> He's meditating. Oh, it's only been like maybe five. No. It's been way longer than five minutes. You specifically stated that you were waiting 10 minutes for something. No, yeah, we found out that it doesn't take 10 minutes to do it. Oh. So... It takes like half a minute with both of us doing it. Yeah, oh. yeah. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, you were meditating so you didn't hear us talking about it. Yes, I was meditating. I'm still meditating. I really need to meditate. It's important. Okay, well, 
So do you say that, or? Yeah. You could pause meditating long enough to say, hey, leave me alone. <laughs> Zing opens the eye why and do you need says, to meditate? I, I, need, I need to regenerate I, I, li I literally don't know why. Zing says, I need to regenerate my focus. Otherwise, combat will be difficult. How long does that take? Just 30 minutes. Just give me a... Well, I mean, like, there's only, like... It, it's an, actually an hour. Yeah, short rests are an hour if it's, it's a short rest. It's not a short rest. It's 30 minutes. Okay. Anyway. Then, in that case, I walk up and I throw the chain over his neck. Because I don't need to he hang doesn't on move. to it for 30 minutes. He allows it. So that's kind of random, Lazarus, and all. To what do we do for thirty minutes? I draw my hand axe and start decapitating these ghouls. <laughs> that's okay. it won't take us thirty minutes, but that's probably a good idea. I've got nothing to chop them with. I pick up the sword over here and I start. I chop one, maybe. You easily decapitate and do whatever else you're going to do with those ghouls and those weapons. And then I guess I sit on this bed for a minute next to this other skeleton that's sitting on the bed. I pat him on the back and he collapses and falls over. I say, good job, Mr. Skeleton. I switch my axe out back with my hammer and then just sort of take a breather for a bit while he meditates. Am I good? I am so upset at that parchment. Oh, actually, while uh, they're doing that before... We do anything else before we really get to waiting on Zang. Um, I do pull the book out and I do place the Wraith hand on the book. I open the book. Do I see anything? See invisibility? Yes, I am seeing invisible objects. You can see. What am I thinking? Let's see, you know, Common and Sylvan? Yes. You can see there is writing on the page, but you cannot understand the writing. Oh, this is exciting, you guys. Uh, Black Check says, after he pulls the book open over his lap, Agba has revealed to me things. It's funny because like, it's not like I can cast Fairy Fire on it to uh, let other people see it. This is pretty funny. This is crazy. Um... These, this book, you guys, has writing as he threw it. He flips through it. Flip, 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 flip. There's flip. writing on several of the pages. Um, How long does the invisibility last? One character? hour. One hour? Yeah, it yeah. lasts the whole hour. Oh, wow. And okay. it isn't a Black... concentration spell. It's not? Nope. Nope. Awesome. Once it's cast, it's cast. Blackjack says, I can probably see this for about 45 more minutes, he says. Uh, okay. And then Lazarus just, like, walks over to the other bed. Have fun. Wake me up when you're done. And just face plants on the bed. Okay. Well, that's kind of dumb, but anyway. Okay, and he, he, sees, he talks to the last, the only other person awake or not busy. He says, Albrecht, this is really exciting. I have an idea. What's that? Um... As he takes out a pen and some ink. And he goes over to this worthless, worthless parchments of paper. It's and he says it's parchment. Parchment's more expensive than paper. Anyway, he takes he I picks all it's cheaper, isn't it? I thought parchment's half the price in the Oh, the... that's why I'm retarded. Okay. Yeah, I do need a short rest to actually get my key points back. Damn it. <laughs> it doesn't we'll matter we've I've got a good reason for us to do it you have to spend 30 minutes of the short rest meditating so after he's mm -hmm. meditated for 30 minutes he'll be able to get up and walk around but he has to keep actually doing a short rest still be short resting yeah what was no, Albert you're, saying you're right parchment is cheaper than paper oh, I was okay. mistaken and he picks up he picks up the parchments and he spreads them around the desk or the table here and he gets to work. I would like to copy with the best of all of my abilities in the 45 minutes as much as I can. And I'm going to make an edu educated guess that I could copy nine pages. 
It will have to be some kind of check for this. And if I'm doing poorly on any one of them, I like I want to basically I want to be comparing side by side. Yeah, I'm sure there's check, but I want to be copying what I see down, and I'm going to be comparing it side by side for accuracy. It's not like it's this is like if I saw a painting, I want to try to well, copy yes, the painting. But it's it's also how fast you can do it and stuff. Yes. So yes. you remove your eye patch so that you actually have depth perception. Yes, I do. <laughs> I appreciate that, but yeah, I, I would totally. Flip up the eye patch. This is the the happiest and excited, most excited Blackjack has been since he was, since uh, hmm, since he almost destroyed almost all of his poison and caught the bad guy by shooting him from way, way, way afar. Um, <laughs> but yeah, dude, this is freaking sweet. Holy crap, it's invisible. Blackjack spreads out the paper and he begins to copy. What do you want me? I'm assuming we, I have 45 minutes left of the short rest. Uh, yeah, you have about 45 minutes of the short rest. So, what do you wish for me to do? I just assumed it was five minutes per page, but yeah, there should be checks, definitely. And as I see him writing these down, I cast guidance if there's a check. Awesome. Does that apply to one check or like a lot of checks? One. It's one check, but it's a cantrip, so I could just keep doing it if we needed to. Awesome. I think it would have to be investigation, actually. Fair enough. I suppose that'll work. I like. I literally would have no idea. Um, is there anything that I am? Uh, that doesn't really help. That doesn't really help. I'm trying to see if there's anything I'm proficient in that would help me, but. Nope, I can't really claim forgery. All right, I begin to do stuff. I make a check plus this. Shazam. <laughs> oh, jeez, Mike's dying. Don't die. <laughs> oh, no. oh, Nelly. Oh, Nelly, the first... Yes, that, that role so applies to this situation, Potato. You actually managed to copy a whole 15 pages. Oh, just during the time? Yeah. Oh, that's simple. Okay, that, that was actually a lot simpler than, like, make it check every five minutes or some jazz. Okay. Oh, no, why would I do that? That would be obtuse. Well, uh, I don't I mean, I would think it'd be fair. That That's what I was expecting, that's all. Um, So I copy it down, and it's accurate, right? That's the uh, to the best thing. of your abilities, it is accurate. Yes. Okay. I script is it? <clears throat> well, that's what I was getting ready to go for. Don't worry. Still asleep over there. I said, Albert, come look at this. I come over and look at it. What is it? Do I recognize the writing? What languages do you know? Common dwarven and halfling. It is none of those. I have no idea. Oh my gosh. I go over to Zang who was walking around and I who was yeah, he had been walking around by this time. He say, Zang, come over here, look at this. Zing slides off the bed and kind of like stretches out a bit and goes, huh? And he walks over and he goes, Oh. Do you remember this invisible book? I oh. saw into it. Oh. And I copied it down. I copied the first fifteen pages. Oh. What's well, what language is that? Can you read this? Sing stares I don't know. at it. Can you read it? Sing stares at it. And what language do you know? You oh wait, you know common and draconic, right? Yup. Orcish or something? Nope, I don't know. No Orcish. Uh, you cannot. Read, you you don't even recognize this script. Oh man. Did I recognize the script then? Uh, no, I just didn't say that. But yes, uh, no, you okay. do. Okay, so I'm going to ask them, uh, do you guys willingly tell me what languages you know? Yes, uh, Zing says he knows common yeah. and draconic. Okay. Common, um, dwarven, and halfling. Draconic. Dwarven. It's not even in the dwarven script then, right? Blackjack yep. says. Common, draconic, dwarven, and halfling. Holy crap. With my knowledge of 
thieves camp. Would I recognize that as some sort of secret code? Uh, it does not appear to be a cipher to okay. the best of your knowledge. And that's fair, because I, I mean, I can't read it anyway. I was just looking for like similar common patterns, how complicated this. And then right near the end of the short rest, Blackjack says, wake up, Lazarus. I found something. Yeah. And he rolls over, so he's looking up. What? Found a secret language, Morty. He sets paper. Yeah. <laughs> He sets he sets the paper parchments on the bed and he shows him the book with one of the hands still grasping uh the book and he says, Remember this book? I copied some of this stuff down. It's on these parchments now. The worthless paper. Here it is. Can you read he, it? Because I can't. No, we none of us can read this. He only speaks dwarven, so well and common. Oh. I'm sorry for waking you up. It's about time we go, though. Yeah, um, okay. Blackjack takes all the parchments and he puts them in that fancy bone, the fancy bone uh, book scroll thing. I don't know. You're, the you're tube. talking just your copied pages, correct? Oh yeah. I, well, don't put the book in there. No, I mean because there's like maybe two hundred parchment papers. <laughs> oh yeah, I just I know I put just the copied pages. Okay, okay, because all of them would not fit. Fifteen will though. Wow, I can. Over a long period of time, I can copy that whole book. Blackjack is revitalized and excited. No, he didn't spend any hit dice. Um, and no, he didn't use the song of rest. Okay. Um, so let's... Did that even count as a short rest for me since I was casting during it? Uh, I would count that for you because you aren't really doing much. I'd say pretty, let's see, yeah, I'd say probably everyone but Mr. Decipher himself. Yeah, uh, I worked. I did work. Everyone but him gets a short rest. Okay. Yeah, you only had to cast Guidance once, because he only made it one check, which is sweet. Simple. What did we see down this hallway? Oh, man. Uh, 18 goblins and a beholder. Um, okay, so we go back in the room and we lock the door. And this is where we live now. <laughs> this is just where we live. Zing self cast sanctuary. Zing. Zing, you're, <laughs> you're, you're standing on the dwarf. That's fine. Dwarf can handle it. Hey, a door. Lazarus puts a shield in front of him and opens the door. If I see undead, I. Oh, yeah. I have a sword. Zing doesn't do nothing. <laughs> Zing just got a stick. Let me know if you see anything in there, Lazarus. Blackjack says. Well, I see things. Nothing living. This, is, this appears to be a good sized storeroom. There's dusty kegs all stacked up neatly in here. Huh. Same what do you around. see, Blackjack says. Lazarus just walks in and just. I, don't know. I should I should also mention all of these ca all these uh, kegs are all like cracked and old and obviously not so great. <laughs> okay, I mean, they're, they're like a hundred something years old. So I feel like this might be um, the only room that we or the last room that we haven't been into. Yeah, it feels like it'd probably be like a nice place to actually like rest up for the night if like we right. can just rest up up topside. There's I think... tons of boxes you can just store in front of a place. 
I think that there might be something interesting in this room, and we should thoroughly examine it. I think you're right. Would you like me to lead that investigation? Yes, and I will aid you. Awesome. And I'll cast Guidance. Awesome. How does that work with advantage? You get 1d4. So, no, so... Does 2D it stay the same? It's just added onto the very end after you've done everything. No, but I mean, does it... So, oh, okay, so after I have rolled uh, advantage, after which one has been decided. So I really only get one single 1d4, right? It's the same yep. either way. Okay. Yep. All right, well, I'll roll it second then. Shazam, shazam. I'll take the second one with drum roll. You could just do like 2d20 keep highest one plus. Yeah, or I could just do it like this. And I get that, so give me a give me a 23. Yeah, what was this for? I'm investigating the whole room to find, uh, thoroughly investigating the whole room to find I don't know, anything valuable or interesting or different. Something that's not foodstuffs or water or um, something you wouldn't normally store in here, I suppose. Something one would not normally store in a place where they would store foodstuffs. I think, I think that's pretty accurate and pretty concise. Unfortunately... As you search through all these kegs and barrels and things, everything you turn up is either a keg that had something in it that's long since evaporated, or a box of what was at one time some kind of food. You don't find anything valuable. You don't find anything worth even picking up. Well, we tried, Blackjack says. Do you have any more? It doesn't like, seem, of the, seem to uh, be anything important in here. Do you have any more of the detect magic thing? For one Ooh. last, like, hand. Blackjack waves his hand. Blackjack waves his hand. Help me out there, Mr. Albrecht. I assist him with the cast. Agma, show me the magic. He waves his hands. You do detect magic. Other besides than us? Yes, what? Besides you. Where? And what school is it from? Black Chick says, that was a great idea, Zane. Hold it. It's where? It's from the Transmutation School. And where is it in this room? <laughs> Somewhere over behind there. It's back in the back. Will you help me move, help me move these barrels? Sing help with his big hands. I start moving kegs out the way. We move the with big hands. <laughs> yeah, we move all these barrels out of the way. Well, they're kegs, actually. No, but barrels, kegs. I, I think I said barrels, didn't I? But yeah, they're whatever. We move them. We move them. Barrel-shaped objects. <laughs> I move them with my little hands because I'm a dwarf. <laughs> well, actually, have like normal dwarf. people. You actually have like. Oh, I knew people. you were gonna say it. <laughs> but have like big hands. <laughs> what? They have normal people hands. <laughs> <laughs> Are you saying dwarves aren't normal people? Well, you're short people. Don't elaborate, Mike, please. I, think, they... I, I don't think they heard it. It's just it was it was much funnier. It was I, I know it was all it was. Say anything. <sighs> <laughs> That's why it was so funny. Barrels are moved. People are getting a position. We're positioning ourselves. You find what how. Just looking in the corner, it looks like there's a piece of cloth just sitting in the corner. Um, it's just a piece of cloth? That's what it looks like. Uh, it's still sitting in the corner, though. So I guess I pick it up. Oh, it's actually a bag. What? It's actually a bag. I was asking Zhang. Oh. Whoever picks it up discovers it's a bag. 
Okay, so it's it, it's a bag. Do, am I holding it, or is Blackjack holding it? Because we don't know. I don't Whoever care. Whoever picked it up is holding it. Well, I think we don't know because because Zang moved his piece in there, and I and so I was just kind of like, yeah, his piece was there, so he he's holding it. I'm just dancing around. Zang opens the bag. There was an apple inside the bag. There's a what? It looks fresh. A what? An apple. Zing pulls the apple out of the bag. Like the fruit. Looks like a Granny Smith. Don't bite it. It could hurt you. It's still good, remember? (laughs) Zing, um... Looks around the room for a uh are there is there any food items around the room? Weird. Like they can be shitty or whatever. Uh, by the way, Zing gives the apple to Blackjack. Um I try to identify the apple. <laughs> it's an apple. Blackjack <laughs> throws it across the room. He throws it across the room and he goes for the bag. <laughs> it splats against the wall. Zing's Apple goes got everywhere. the bag in his hand. And he's <laughs> looking around for like other food in the room. Uh, Zing or he, Lazarus he, just looks like wakes back up from like nodding off. Looks at Blackjack. Did you just throw an apple? He goes for the bag. He lunges for the bag. <laughs> No. That's what, yeah. I'm doing has, something. Has, has Blackjack gone crazy? Has Blackjack gone crazy? No. Blackjack, uh, actually, if, you, if you're asking that out loud, he says, no, I know what that is, Blackjack says. The bag! The bag is magical! Yes, I know. I'm testing something. What does that have to do with throwing the apple across the room, though? I was getting excited. Um, I'd like to use my insight to determine that could be it. Just my insight. You would like to determine if that's a... There is a good chance that the bag is magical. Based upon just your insight. Okay, yeah, yeah, I know. Do I find a food stuff? This is especially useful to Blackjack. Oh my gosh. Now he doesn't have to leave his little post if he's like. I did not even realize how valuable a a, a bag of holding would be to Blackjack. Holy crap! I, I don't think that's a bag of holding. It might not be, but the what I'm thinking, well, if we're talking in character right now, what Blackjack will say to you is, if you put a fruit in a bag of holding, it may not go bad for God knows how long, just because it's not exposed to the outside air. Why would, it, why would a bag of holding be like transmutation with magic, though? Because you're transmuting space. That's you're so... changing space. That's transmutation. You change space. You warp space. Oh. And matter. And matter. I mean... Okay, just but anyway. identify it or whatever. Zang was doing something in the meantime of talking to you. What is Zang doing? He said something about the thing or I keep saying I'm trying to do. Yeah, I sorry. So what what is it you're trying to do? I'm trying to find another food stuff in the room. All the food you find is is basically turned mostly to dirt at this point. I think I know what he's going to do. Okay, is there anything that's... But you do find what was food. Okay, so do I find, like, like a banana peel or something? No. Okay, does he just find, like, rotting food? Oh, it's past rotten at this point. It's pretty much all gone. Past rotting food. You find past rotting food. Well, I'm gonna try it anyway. I'm it's gonna. Basically, it's basically compost at this point. Okay, I'm gonna scoop the compost <laughs> and put it in the bag. <laughs> and then I, I say that again. I scoop up the compost and put it in the bag, and then I close the bag. 
and I give it a good shake, and then I open the bag and look inside. <laughs> it's still compost? There's compost in the bag. Yes. Okay, I dump it all out. Okay, so you had a concern about this being a bag of holding, right? Yeah. Zing puts his entire arm in the bag. This your, is... Your, your entire arm does fit into the bag. You called it. It was a bag of holding. Here you go. Zing throws the bag of holding to Blackjack. You're the best! And I'd like to identify it to confirm. You use identify on it? Yeah. It is not a bag of holding. Oh, <gasps> what, is it? what are you? What's the gasping about? What? It's your attack. Uh, I, I don't know how to say that. That's an alliteration. Blah, blah, blah. I knew it wasn't a bag of holding. I was <laughs> just being an asshole. <laughs> The bag is actually big enough to fit his arm in it. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I knew that was coming. So I, I identified the bag. You did identify the bag, though. It is a bag of freshness. Oh. It keeps food fresh. Oh, it keeps food fresh. Okay. It doesn't make them fresh. No. <sighs> Blackjack them. looks very disappointed. Zing snaps I mean, his he fingers tells, suddenly. He tells everybody, he says, Wait. Wait, that's he's, extremely He's getting useful. ready to tell everybody what it does. He's getting ready to tell everybody what the bag does. Okay, okay, sorry, continue. And he says it's a bag of freshness. That's extremely... And basically what it does is it keeps food fresh. That's extremely helpful. I don't need it, and I have no use of this. No, you do. I'll take you it. You have a huge that. use for it. Blackjack, you need that bag. Who, me? Yes. What? Why are you convincing me that I need a bag? Put the hands in it. <laughs> it doesn't matter. They're, they're, they've been dead forever already. Are they like Yeah, and you just killed the thing that was magically keeping them alive. So I need to... Are, are, is everybody telling me that I need... Yes. Well, I mean, if you're not going to take it, I'm going to take it. You I'm going to put... use an insight check to determine if I need to do this. If you need to put the mummified hands in the bag. Yes. Uh, they are already mummified. They are not going to get any more mummified. Okay, he tells them, I don't know that they're going to get any worse than they already are at them. All right, I guess we can go. Uh, it it's right it's not a bad idea. Because last week, hand, food. I hand stuff. you the bag. I really don't. It's not something I need. Okay. But it has occurred to me now the usefulness of a bag of holding to me. As bag I am weak and I cannot carry that much stuff. I might be able to use it for herbalism at some point if we don't have any other uses for it. What? Keeping potion ingredients fresh, that sort of thing. Oh, that's not a bad idea, but I fix this. Well... Blackjack says, before we go back, there's one thing I'd like to do, and I may need some help for this. What's that? Do you remember the room with the mushrooms in it? I'm going to just go on limb and say that you really want to go find out what that one particular mushroom is over in that corner. Yes, and to do that... I don't know if anybody has anything that can help and make sure that I don't die when I do it. Oh my god. You mean like being oh my to god, say, I can solve your problem. Let's do this, Blackjack. What? <laughs> Zing just right, walks, out the, walks out the door and walks all the way I back. Don't, I'm... Wait, oh. We need a light. I take out my lantern, my hooded lantern. Oh, looks like it's just you and me, Albert. Uh, yeah, they get excited. He gets excited and he says, We're going. Because he's, whoa, he's getting away. He's really fast. Black check says. Oh, wait. Yeah, I can just do the arrow thing. 
I follow them because having a cleric who can remove poison might be useful when we're dealing with poison mushrooms. Oh, also I have that revitalized potion or whatever. Vitality. Okay. <laughs> if I need it. All right. Um, Please. I am going to go retrieve the mushroom and I will be back, okay? You can put it in the bag of freshness, Blackjack says. <laughs> uh, can I borrow the bag of freshness? Sure. Okay, Zing gets the bag of freshness. Zing there's looks, a spell I can cast on you to help you out. Zing looks into the mushrooms, sighs, and prepares himself, and casts Spider Climb. Spider Climb. Spider Zing, Spider Zing, does whatever Spider Zing does. You easily climb over the mushrooms using the wall? Yes. Zing goes up to the mushroom and will attempt to gather it and put it in the bag of freshness. Presuming Presume these mushrooms are here. Yes. Correct? Yes. You, uh, I need you to roll a dexterity check when picking the mushroom. Okay. There's Don't jostle the other ones. There are actually three of those those mushrooms there. Don't jostle them. Okay. Um, can I add my proficiency because it's what I'm. Like Black Jack says, "Get them all, just in case." Because I'm trained in dex. It's like a I'm I'm proficiency with dex saving throws, or do I just do my do a dex dex check? You could do a. Can you do a uh, sleight of hand? Do you have sleight of hand? No. <laughs> Yeah, if you're trying to... Well, actually, you could do sleight of hand, yes, but it is a dexterity check of... Okay, I'm gonna... I'm but gonna you can be making a sleight of hand check, because that's done through... Okay, well, yeah. moment of truth. The same thing. I might if die. I may die. <laughs> nah, if you fall over, I'm gonna rush in and grab you. Jesus fucking Christ. You mean... You mean what the... happens? You managed to knock over two of the mushrooms, screwing them up. Okay, but I still I have one. one did now. did anything like explode up at me? Like it? No, you did. Okay. No, nothing exploded up at you. You didn't pick the third mushroom. You can, can you still reach the other two that you knocked down? Blackjack says. Can I make another grab for him? Uh, you can. You can make another grab. You can do it! Blackjack says, wait, Blackjack says, you can do it! And then he casts his, um, he gives you bardic inspiration for your next check. You get to add plus 1d6 to, uh, your next check. And then he'll do it again after that. So he'll give you two bardic inspirations. Don't you only have one, though? No, I have two. I didn't use you cutting managed, words. You managed to grab the mushroom you didn't knock down and one of the mushrooms you did. All right. Okay, so I have two. Is it worth it? Are they all the same? Blackjack says. Do they all look the same? Do they look the same to me? All three all of the th mushrooms do look the same. They do look the same. Oh, heck. Sorry, one was good enough, Blackjack says. Zing comes back with the mushroom. Break. Two of them. Yep. And Zing will present the mushrooms in the bag to Blackjack. All right, let's take them over here, Blackjack says. And we're going to take them to these other mushrooms so they don't fail my stupid check. And we will walk carefully. Over here, I'm gonna climb up this stalagmite and do this the the safest way. And I'd like to compare those mushrooms to these to see if they are the same. They are different. They are different. Okay, I'd like to attempt to identify this. Uh, actually, I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna go back over here, do the climb thing, get down, walk over here. I say they're different, guys, and. I'm not the best at identifying natural type of things. So why don't you ask the herbalist? Want me to take a look at him? Please do so. I can help you a little bit. 
and I will assist him, granting him combat advantage. And I give... Wait, did he use both my Bardic Inspiration or just one of them? He just used one. All right, I cast Bardic Inspiration on him. You get to add plus 1d6 to your uh, ability check to identify them. You recognize the mushroom. What are they? They're called hardy heart mushrooms. <laughs> Do I know anything else about them? Man, looks like he's typing. Typed out what I said in case you miss her. Oh, hardy heart, not like hearty heart. Or hardy horror. And uh, you know that when you eat them, you uh, you gain some temporary vitality. I say, yeah, I recognize those. Those are hearty heart mushrooms. When you eat them, you'll feel you'll have more vitality for a little bit. Cool. Out of I'm glad. I'm glad we did this. Out of Texas. If you eat one of those mushrooms, you get ten temporary hit points. Holy more. moly! What if you cook them? Uh, I don't know. It's like a stew. He, he asks Albrecht. If you cook them into a stew, they're delicious. But you don't get any temporary hit points. Um, Blackjack says, you know. uh, Blackjack asks Albrecht, would these go bad? Um, would they go bad? If you dry them, they won't go bad for years. If they're dried, they'll last for years. Otherwise, probably not. You may want to put them in the bag of freshness and we can dry them up later. Smoke them or something. <laughs> hmm. Out of character, I really need to go to the bathroom again. Then go to the bathroom. All right, I'll be back. I have to go to the bathroom too, so I will be go to the bathroom. Um, we'll be do right the same the because we're having a conversation. Yay! Yes, Chris. yes, yes, we are. Yes, I know. All right, I'm back. What are we doing? Hello? Yeah, I think we're still waiting on Arthur, I think. Oh, OK. I didn't know everybody else is gone. All right. Man, see, I'm good for something. I, I find a lot of stuff. I'm an investigator. I think guidance is probably one of the best cantrips there is. It's been really helpful. Oh yeah, yeah God. definitely. Well, the the only thing is you can't. I, Potato would have to say if there's ever been a time where that has made the difference. Basically, right now we don't know if there's ever been a time or not, but it's probably likely because it's a it's a plus two point five on average. There are going to definitely be times that it will have made a difference. What, when, when, what will have made a difference? Guidance. Guidance. I'm back. Hi. So, Blackjack will say, have we, 
You guys can use. Oh no, he wouldn't say that because he doesn't know anything about that. He that Zang is, seems to be concentrating on something. Who what? Zang does. He seems to be concentrating on something. If we notice it, then I'll say, "What are you thinking about, Zang?" He's probably talking to the dragon. Oh. I don't know why you're calling him that. <laughs> to bug you, apparently. In character, that is not what you would call him. <laughs> Oh, that's what old. that's what Lazarus would say, because that's what he keeps saying. In character. A little kid that can terrify a dragon by saying, I want I'll come for you in the night. More than likely isn't a little kid. But that doesn't mean he's a dragon. That's what, what Lazarus other? thinks. Lazarus what? is 16 years old. What scares other dragons? Well, what scares dragons? Probably bigger, scarier dragons. That's, that's okay. You can, you can say that. <laughs> that. That works. I will come for you in the night. And, like, a dragon just fucking runs away going, I'll get you next time. <laughs> 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 that's, that's another fucking dragon, like, intimidating him. That's what that is. That's why Lazarus calls him a dragon. He doesn't have any proof besides... Uh, isn't he, like, an oversized... Tell you a boy or something? He's, like, super oversized for being a boy. Um... <laughs> Yeah, I'm just gonna. Well, it probably, probably doesn't help that you want. saw Zing briefly speak <laughs> to him in Draconic. Oh, I don't fucking just know that saying. language. None of us do. Yeah, I none don't of us know. Uh -huh. And Zing said the only two languages well, he knows are common and Draconic, like two minutes ago. Uh, Lazar still doesn't know. He was passed out. He was. Technically, you know. Lazarus puts away his sword and puts away his shield. Blackjack, seeing you do that, yeah, he's pretty relaxed, so he puts away the rapier. Well, he, while Zing's uh, focusing, uh, he pulls out his tinderbox and lights his brand new pipe up. Lazarus do you guys have an extra bag? <laughs> Lazarus picks up Zing. What? Seeds just start walking down the hallway. <laughs> Zing slaps you. He... Ow. Make an attack check. I, I asked if you have an extra bag. Near the... Yeah, in my cart. Okay, great. <laughs> Thank you. That's all I wanted to know. Hey, how big of a bag? A bag. Like, are you talking like a little sack or a backpack or? Is it a sack from the equipment? Yeah. Probably. No, I've got. A, if you're asking about mine, I know I've got a few extra bags. I just don't end up writing bags on there. I mean, I just need an extra so... bag right now, and I would really just appreciate just borrowing just a, just the bag. I don't know. It depends how big it is. It doesn't need to be big. How big does it need to be? Of a, the the size of a Kroger bag, okay. like a plastic bag. Oh, that's too, I don't have one of those ones. Big. Yeah, I've got a few small bags, like pouches. Um. So back to the back holds one cubic foot. I don't a uh, one cubic foot. Yes, that's that's a little bit less than a sack. But no, that is that is what a sack in the equipment carries. No, no, I'm saying he said he needs a Kroger bag, and I'm like, that's probably a little, a little less than a sack. So, back to... Yeah, what? I don't have one. I don't have one, sorry. Blackjack says. Otherwise, I'd give you one. I have a sack from just my equipment? He flips his eye patch back down. Um, not... I honestly don't know, because I don't know all of your equipment. Hang on a second. I have one, but it's completely full of stuff. Just a sec. 
why do you need it this exact moment and we can't wait like two minutes? He said he's got a sack in his cart. It just because if I've already got one, we'll be wasting a trip. But we've we have to go that way anyway, everything. right? Like, just give me a minute. I think we've went every single way that we possibly could. I know. Just give me a second. Okay. I've got an explorer's pack. Um, and I've got navigators tools, and I've got all this stuff. Does any of that automatically come with just a bag? Mm, that's a backpack, but not a bag. Does the cartographer's tools come with a bag? Um, no. That the like tools come in, like the. We have a bag of freshness. Yeah, you have a bag of freshness, Black Six says. But aren't we using that bag of freshness freshness for the mushrooms? Or can you take the mushrooms? I mean, it'd be pretty easy to take out two mushrooms. But we need to we need to keep them in the bag for. Uh, what are you needing to use the bag for? He's being vague. I'm being Lazarus. vague on purpose. It was something yes. that was asked. And being vague ain't gonna get you shit. What was that saying? Blackjack says. It was a a favor that was asked of me, and um. I think I'm just gonna need to take care of it on my own way. While here, you finish blackjack, it. black. No, no. He, he says he says here, and he hands you a. Uh, uh, blackjack reaches in his bag, and he hands you a satchel. Awesome. Thank you very much. I will be right back. If 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 there's any way I can get that back, that'd be nice. That is a waterproof satchel. I will get it back to you. No worry. Cool. Okay. Zing will be very, very careful about this. What are you doing, Zing? Where are you going? He's going right he there. Buying the mushrooms. <laughs> oh. Don't you have one of those? Zing takes a deep breath. No, not these and mushrooms. He's gonna try to do the thing. No, you. You you have one of those, Blackjack. You picked one. Not one of those ones. The oh yeah, I did. Mushroom. I did pick one. Yeah, I've got it right here somewhere. I've got a, I've got one of those mushrooms in a bag. Yeah, I've got one of those mushrooms in a bag. Blackjack says. Oh, you already got one of the poison. This startles one? you as we put it into the mushrooms. Yeah, I got one of the poison mushrooms. Blackjack says. I try to flip out of the I've way got of, it in a of the uh, small bags bag. that are coming out of the mushroom because I got startled. You still have to roll a check. Okay, what's the check? Constitution. It's a constitution save. At least he has advantage because of the bandana. He does have advantage. I took my bandana off because I assumed I wasn't wearing it, basically. I never put one on because I'm a dwarf, so I get advantage anyway. Double advantage. Uh, I think my con is... Okay. Bet. Well, manacles. You managed to get out of the way of, of the spores. Okay. Can I have the bag with the poison mushrooms in it? Do not feel sick. Yeah, here you go. And I hand you the, the bag. It just has one of them in there, Blackjack says. And it's more of a pouch anyways. But okay. there you go. Uh, can you help and me do get... I get the waterproof satchel back? Yeah, can you help me get four more of these? Four more? Yes. I look at my pouch. Will four more of those mushrooms fit in that bag? Just barely. All right, cool. He says, yeah, I'll, I will help you. And he checks his hands to make sure his gloves are on. <laughs> and he will help Zhang. Um, uh, is, is this like an ability check? Is that what this is? Um, Blackjack will ask Albrecht. Albrecht, can you help him with his ability check by guiding him with your guiding magic? Yep, and I cast guidance on him. And and out of character, I think we can just assume he, he'll just continuously cast guidance. Yeah, it's for one um, check, but I can just cast it again after. Yeah. And it's 1d4. And what I will do is I'll look You're at right. my... Be right back. I will look at my spells 
and I have my cantrip that I will attempt to um, attempt to make it somewhat easier as possible as I cast prestidigitation on wherever he picks to try to clean away anything that may get in the way. And I don't know, maybe there's rocks or dust or twigs or something and just I'm clearing it with prestidigitation. <laughs> or stuff, I don't know. I feel like that's the best I got. And then I'm like, all right, let's do this. And I'm going to try to help pick mushrooms with them. Okay. I believe you've already rolled Zane, correct? No, I'm going to make uh, four oh, rolls if that's the, cool. Yes, am I correct? Can I make four rolls? Well, yes, but I mean, you've already rolled once, is what I'm saying. No, I don't think so. He's saying he didn't make those rolls, Potato. Because I see a roll that I don't know what it's for. Yeah, I don't think that. Oh, that was that, your save. Never mind. Yeah, that was for my. Yeah. Okay. That was your so I'm, save. I'm making four, um, with all the stuff. Okay. Make four sleight of hand checks. <laughs> you managed to pick three. Uh, but, I'm gonna go one more. I, but. Oh wait, I'll I, I put my hand on his shoulder and said, "Let me do it this time. Let me give it a try." Because I'm I'm presuming that his sleight of hand may not be as good as mine. What, what what's the other word for sleight of hand? There's another fancy word. No, no, it's something somethingery. It's a fancy word. Um, I'm, I'll look it up later. There's some sort of fancy word. I give so I give it a spin and I ask Albrecht to fill. Give me a little guidance here. I guess guidance on Plus this D that. <laughs> Sleight of hand, otherwise known as prestidigitation. Uh... No, there's another word. But that's my, uh, that's my check. And you that... both go for the mushrooms at once, and you each manage to pick one. <laughs> 